Each hike and dead day I'll last Not as long as I'm still broken breathing And if they don't cut this song off My dad That's not me. That's Pat. Um, and I didn't cut him off. That's where the recording ends. That's uh, nine and a half minutes of his show in 2008 in Brisbane, Australia. So, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, um, that's just where the recording ends. And, no. Oh, I miss that, man. I really do. Um... Did I miss anything? For, uh, did, I, did anything important happen in yesterday's stream? I had a bad reaction to a new medication. I had to sleep it off, so I missed the stream. Crimson, I'm sorry you had a bad reaction to your medication. Um, the one thing that I could say you missed is, one, me. Hey, Fire. Um, hey, everyone. Um, the only thing I say you missed is me getting entirely too high um, at the beginning of the stream. Where's mine? There it is. Um, entirely too high entirely too high and i didn't have zomboid to fall back on i had to interact it was oh it was rough it was rough there for a few minutes dude yeah it was rough um but there was a couple of interesting notes in last night's show <clears throat> um so yeah i'll get i'll get there <laughs> for twos. um the first is that dude who registered the uh, proudly cringe account um, a while back, right? And just, just seems to hate me for whatever reason. Um, he came by and started yelling at me to like debate destiny. Um, his first choice was destiny and then his second choice was has. Um, and so I was high as fuck, right? Like there was no performative value to what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Um, I just tried to connect to this dude on a human level, like straight up. Like I was emphatic about it. I'm like, dude, just who the fuck are you? Like, what, what are you about, man? Like you seem, I'm just tired of you fucking like debating noobs. I'm like, don't you realize that like, while the conversation can get heated sometimes, I'm like, I'm this is, none of this is debate. I'm like, that's not what I do, man. And he's like, uh, he, he kicked and screamed for a little bit. I said, well, you know, we've sort of reached an impasse here. He said, you've got three options because you're not going away. I said, so like either one, get off my dick about it or two, continue to hate watch and sit there and mauled or three, fuck off, right? He got off my dick about it. 
He just started asking questions and participating in chat. Even though he's like some ban evader who's registered the proudly cringe account and really, really dislikes me. Like, I disarmed him. I completely disarmed him. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. Never. It's never going to happen. He says, so you're only left with a hand, like less than a handful of options. You need to get off my dick. You need to fucking just sit there and maul more about it. Or you need to just fuck off. And he chose to get off my dick about it. I was happy. I was like, holy shit. Like, I talked that dude off a fucking ledge. Um, I saw Cringe in Libra's chat last night. Maybe he came here after I got him banned. Hey, who knows? Um, yeah, dude, he, he fucking registered. That probably Cringe account is a direct reaction to whoever that is. The fucking interaction they had on this channel. Yeah, he, that dude went and registered the Proudly Cringe account and made, immediately tried to troll me with it. It's like, homie, it doesn't work. <laughs> Fucking, like, I'm not going to debate Destiny or Haz, especially now that Haz is, dude, Haz is such, has entered full grifter mode. We'll get on to that. <laughs> uh, he started in Libra, then came here. Good for him. Um, got banned in Libra, though, huh? Uh, so, beyond that, uh, the doctor came back. Doctor, a uh, hey boy, a boy meets many. Happy Friday to you as well. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. The colleges guy for colleges and years. That guy got banned. That's just spam. Um, the doctor came back. Doctor, uh, prof a doctor professor SC came back. Um, He refused to take his L for quite some time, and I, I just, I demonstrated how full of shit he was on air. And so, yeah, yeah, that, he, he pivoted and then started talking about other shit, and then he got in, like, somebody else's DMs, and he just started, dude, he's fucking weird, and I, I, I think it's just sad at this point. Um, <clears throat> having a chimichanga and an ice cream and maybe a salad or chicken. Well, a chimichanga is not exactly healthful, um, nor is the ice cream. But whether you're you're still a skinny fuck and you're really young, so you can burn that no problem. So enjoy your chimichanga and and your ice cream. Um, he refused to take the L so hard. Yeah, it was dude. It was bad. Um. Oh, the doctor. Um, the doctor went over to the YouTube. A video for the Doctor 2.5 conversation where I refuted everything and left a message under his YouTube account as his YouTube account not knowing that we know like not thinking that we know his YouTube account so he left a like a fake message saying uh, what was the fucking exact message it was um seems like he's pretty actually pretty reasonable sounds like a lefty to me he tried to leave an leave a like a comment supporting himself, but he used his own YouTube account that we already know. Like we already know his own YouTube account. Well, I I pinned it and hearted the message, and I'm like, homie, we know this is you. <laughs> it was so sad. Yeah, he's just so bad at what he does. He's so bad at it. Um. And then we had, um, then we had Joe, not our Joe. Our Joe is back, by the way. Joe is, Joe is in Discord again, thankfully. Joe is back to some extent or another. Um, but <clears throat> um, we had Joe last night, not our Joe. Um, we had Joe. He was a, I, I, I think we would qualify him as probably like an AOC, sometimes Bernie supporter. Yeah, he was he was hammered. He spent 10 minutes gated behind the welcome page and he never got past it. We we had to we had to clear him manually and then Cupcake had to post like screenshots of instructions on how to get into voice chat. He he was. He was a very angry drunk. Um he was a very angry drunk. Um who who just wanted to scream at me for being full of shit for advocating for any level of anarchistic action. Um, he just wanted to yell at me, um, which he did for a little bit. Um, and then he just kept cutting out, like his mic or his connection or something. He just started dropping repeatedly. And so I was just sitting here waiting, and eventually the conversation, I was like, well, 
that was a productive conversation. Thanks. And, you know, fucking pulled the plug on it. Um, I think he was falling asleep. Yeah, I, dude, it kind of was like the nod off. And, and like, you know, I, I've been talking this entire time. No, you haven't, homie. But he was, that dude was hammered. That dude was hammered proper. Leftist audio. So he's an AOC stand. Like, I, I don't know what his, I honestly dig. All I know is that like, he's definitely a, uh, uh, an electoralist. Um, he definitely supports that sort of system. Um, he, you know, his first words out of his mouth is you need senators. I'm like not to do what we, what we want to do. So like, you know, but there was no explaining anything to him because all he was doing was he was just waiting for the next moment in which he could yell at me. That was it. He was yelling in chat. He was, he was yelling random non sequiturs and just ad homs into the wind when he started in chat. He was very weird. He was very drunk. He was very angry. So, yeah, I ended up just telling him to drink eight ounces of water, uh, sleep on his side, and get some rest because he needed it. So... Um, can I do this? I can. Cool. Uh, he refused to go to sleep. Yes, he did. He, he continued to DM, I think, Red for quite a bit. Distant Red. Um, he continued to yell, uh, continued to yell at Red for a while. Um, I almost want to start a band called Caps Lock Engaged. Eh, that's, that's a solid band name. Uh, your fleeting thoughts seem to be you could potentially have a chat if he wasn't drunk. Yeah, I, I think there might be a conversation there if he wasn't completely shit faced. And nonsense, nonsense, raided in when I was hitting the peak of entirely being entirely too high and I told his punk ass to get on the air with me and help a brother out and nonsense password himself didn't even acknowledge it fucking straight through the heart my man fucking et tu Brutus et tu didn't, didn't even help a brother out complete failure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some sense to kick your ass for me. I'm going to get some sense to kick your ass for me. See, you got this one coming. You got this one coming. Yeah. She's going to whoop you. It's going to be straight up domestic violence up in that house. Buy some sense of paddle. <laughs> a cane. Do a cane. Dude, I have a cane that is... Dude, uh, yeah. We are laying the letter. She asked me why I didn't call in. The, he told me to call in. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna have her punch the shit out of you. Uh, <laughs> I have a cane. I'll send her a fucking cane. Um, I think there's like, I forget how many how many dowels are in the cane. It's like six or eight dowels. I'll have to count them one of these days just so I know offhand. But, dude, it leaves marks. It leaves marks. Just, just, a, a, just a flick of the wrist. Just whack. And you're like, holy shit, man, that works. Dude, that like Singaporean caning shit they do. Like now that I've seen it up close and personal and I'm fucking, you know, it's like, holy shit, man. You could, you could easily shred skin with like a multi-dowel cane. No problem. You just shred the skin. That's a fucking rough ass thing. She can't hold weapons with her creepy tiny hands. You're fucking dead, man. You're fucking dead. You're just a masochist. You're just asking for it now. Uh, an excellent result with a half uh, with half a kayak paddle. The curvature allows access from up front. Hmm, interesting. Duly noted, Rep. Um. Yeah, dude, they do make a satisfying sound. Yeah. Um, uh, shh, nonsense knows what he's doing. Yeah, nonsense never knows what he's doing. Either way. Oh, yeah. So that was that was last night. You get to see Kai entirely too stoned and like having moments of like, holy shit. <laughs> you also get to see the return of Doctor Professor SC. I was, I had, sorry, I had come down a little bit by then. So I was able to handle him effectively. 
Dr. Professor SC was just, you know, the first guy, the proudly cringe guy, though, I was way too high. And I, uh, I was just in bro mode. I'm like, dude, what's up? Talk to me. What's your deal? Right? Like, you seem angry. <laughs> Dr. Professor is a bitch. Uh, fucking find me the mortal who knows what they're doing. Impossible. This weather. Only thing that life has taught me up to this point is that it's impossible for me to die. This nonsense. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would not tempt fate like that. Uh... Uh, let me, um, hold on. Let me change his name. So. There. <laughs> there. Uh. There. I've changed Joe's name to what he wanted. Is it just me or was he literally asking us to help him grift better? Dude, it beast, it seemed like that. It seemed like at a certain point, Dr. Professor was actually asking us how to grift better. Cause dude, we were, I'm like, dude, you got caught out. You got caught out, man. You, you got busted. And there's no way around this. Like, you know, yeah. And it, it did seem like at one point he was asking us for help, how to grift better. That did seem like it happened at one point. It was weird. It was weird. But either way, he's adorable. Yes, he is. Uh, oh, Rev. Rev, how dare you? Words are violence. What were you looking to do, Rev? What were you looking to do? Words are violence. Oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah. uh, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um. <laughs> Joe's at a metal show right now. So, uh, I was looking to spark some interest in Foucault, actually. Interesting. It was. I caught it, too. Well, then the word isn't. The word instigates it. And there's a difference, both legally and linguistically. So, hey, Cassidy. Um, we were just recapping last night and talking about fucking... Dummy McGee. Um, <laughs> is that per month? Holy shit, man. Y'all want to see? I got some. I got a residence for you. I got a residence for you. Where is this? Um, all right. I got, I got a place for you guys. So everybody who's looking for some cheap housing, I got, I got you. Don't say, don't say I never, I, I never help you out with anything. All right. Um. So that would be. So that's like over here somewhere. Okay, so like it's over here somewhere. Okay, cool. I got you guys a residence. Um, so. It, it might be in the middle of nowhere. Okay. But you're kind of close to Joshua Tree Park. Okay. Um, 
Here is the Sky Valley Hilltop Trailer in Desert Edge, which is located in Desert Hot Springs, California. It is $775 a month. No hot tub. Hey, Cricks. Joshua Tree is great. I'm not paying $775 for this fucking beat up old 80s trailer. Yes, that's a month for two. $775 a month. Yeah, it's not words themselves. That's the point with her. It's not the words that do the anything. It's, it's like blaming a hammer. It's like blaming a fucking car. You're blaming an inanimate object again. It's humans. It's intent. It's us. But it has utilities. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this is... Dude, I got you guys. I got the fucking hookup. I want the... I got the, I got the fucking hookup for you guys. Like, yeah. Like, here. It's... Fucking, we're actually, you know what? We could probably find this fucking place. All right, there's a color change plus a tree plus a trailer. Oh my God, I think. I think it might be. I think it might be one of these. Oh, it's this. I think it's this. So, if you guys want, I've got the listing. You know, hit me up. We'll, we'll get something set up for you. My mom bought this house for 24K in like 2017, if I recall this rough. Jeez. Cassie, my one bedroom with utilities, gym pool, sauna, dog park, gated parking, uh, et cetera, was only $750 a month. Yeah, well, you know, it wasn't in California. Um, I don't see why they're called RV parks and they don't seem very fun. Yeah, we have a very loose definition of park in this country, don't we? Uh, did Stan Hope ever buy that cave? I, cave? I don't think he did, Rev. I don't think he bought the cave. It was like a crack, a crack house on the side of a motel. I mean... It probably has been crimson. At one point or another, it probably has been. So, um, believe it or not, I actually paid less than that for a two room in Vancouver for that uh, for that five years ago. Uh, Cheshire, try finding that same two room in Vancouver these days for less than that. <laughs> oh, you fucking dude. Oh Jesus! We got a we got a body count in uh, Merkiv, uh, in the Kiev region. Since they've resecured and taken Kiev, they've started doing body counts. We got 132 civilians shot so far. But counts just going up. But we'll see where it ends up. Um, yeah. Uh, last time I paid rent, it was six ten a month when I was making six eighteen hundred a month. Got fired for stealing gas from work. I remember that story. Uh, oh well, I mean, y'all have y'all. Okay, did did any of you see that cursed ass shit, Cassidy? Where is that cursed ass shit? Where was the translation of that article, Cassidy? The state media stuff. Which channel did you drop that in? Cause I'm not going to go clicking around searching. I'm sure you remember. Do you remember? Where'd you fucking drop that? Cause, um, politics. Thank you, Cassidy. All right. So there's your, re oh, yep. Okay. So there's you talking to me. Um, which means it's going to be there. Okay. So copy link. This is a translation of a propaganda article that was published in whatever fucking state media, RIA, uh, yeah, RIA Novosti. Um, 
So, like, this is a translation of what the, they published. It's rough. Yeah, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Here's the whole thing. If you want, it's in politics. Um, and if you want, I'll make it easy for you. It's in chat now as well. Um, but some of the highlights. We wrote about the inevitability of Ukraine's denazification as early as last April. We do not need a Nazi uh, banderite Ukraine, the enemy of Russia and a tool of the West used to destroy Russia. Today, the Nazification issue has taken a practical turn. Denazification is necessary when a considerable number of the population, very likely most of it, has been subjected to the Nazi regime and engaged into its agenda. That is, when the good people, bad government hypothesis does not apply. Recognizing this fact forms the backbone of the denazification Nazification policy and all its pr uh, measures, while the state of oh, the fact itself uh, constitutes its subject. Ah, uh, hold on. There's okay. Um, uh, ordinary Ukrainians were fine with it. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Ukrainians were the happy. Uh, were happy with the shortest way to peace via Blitzkrieg. Mm -hmm. um, so those Nazis who took up arms must be destroyed on the battlefield, as many of them as possible. No distinction should be made between the armed forces of Ukraine and the so-called nationalist battalions, as well as territorial defense. So they're saying we should eliminate all Ukrainians who are serving in the military. Also, um, fucking punish, you know, kill them, kill them, kill them. Um, but where was that line? Um, highest ranks. Nazis and Nazis accomplice, uh, uh, accomplices, blah, 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 blah. Um, ah, yes. Denazification can only be conducted by the winner, which means, one, their unconditional control over the denazification process, and two, the authority that can ensure such control. For this purpose, a country that's being Nazified cannot possess sovereignty. The denazifier state Russia cannot take a liberal approach towards denazification. The ideology cannot be challenged by the guilty party that is being nazified. Okay, you see where this is headed? This is published in state media. And as did had, has write this, it was wrote it was written by the Kremlin and published in Russian state media. So fundamentally it's the sort of shit you would hear expect to hear to fall out of house's stupid mouth. Yes. Um also um, it is worth mentioning. Yes, it's genocide propaganda. It is 100% genocide propaganda. Um, so it is worth mentioning. Has has no actual like integrity. You know that, right? Like, no, I mean for real. Has it has is um, actually doing the like I want to fuck with celebrities to gain fame grifter arc. I've, I've been wondering if Haz is in the middle of a mental breakdown or whether Haz is just engaging a new grifter arc. It may be a bit of both. I think he is emotionally and mentally unstable. But no, he's literally just entering a new grifter mark. Haz is just full of shit. He's just full of shit. He's looking to gain fame. Uh, gain fame. That's all he's doing. He's trying to have a Twitter spat with Tom Holland. He wants to fight Tom Holland. Okay, that's that's what Haz is attempting to do now. He's attempting to fight Tom Holland. So, like, he, he, he uh, oh yeah, I want it too. If anybody thinks I'm down, here is here is the from this day forward, I'm announcing the Tom Holland that Tom that the Tom Holland is my the Tom Holland. I, what the fuck is my arch nemesis? I hate seeing this kid face. Every time I see it, I'm filled with great anger. One day we will clash and only one of us will win. Um, so we know Tom Holland is, well, jacked. Absolutely jacked. And has fight trainers. And Cat himself, Cat came in and said, dude, I've seen him hit punch bags. Holland's no fucking joke. They trained the fuck out of this kid. Right? Okay? No, no, no. Here's the picture. All right? Here's Haz's little dumpy ass looking like the munchkin he is. And here's goddamn Tom Holland. This thinks he stands a chance against this. He's fucking delusional. Tom makes his PP feel funny. That's why he must destroy him. I'm sure. No, he's not a kid. He's 20-something. He's a fucking dude. He will fuck Haz up. He will fuck Haz up, and it would be funny as shit to see Spider-Man kick the shit out of Haz's monkey ass. But the fact of the matter is, is that Haz is just doing a fucking grifter arc. 
He's trying to get fa- he's trying to leech fame from Tom Holland. Has Mr. fucking Stalinist Lysenko himself is trying to leech fame from Spider-Man. You grifter piece of shit. Holy fuck. You have no intellectual, no philosophical, no ethical integrity whatsoever. You're just a grifter piece of shit. That's it. You don't believe a fucking word you say. I don't believe that for a second anymore. When he started poking at Tom Holland, I was like, oh, he's just ch- he's just fame chasing. He's literally just fame chasing. He's just a fame whore. That's all he's about. That is all he's about. He doesn't, he doesn't give two shits about any revolution, any philosophy, any political movement. All he cares about is his bank account and his viewership numbers. That's it. End of story. It is fucking hilarious how badly he outed himself with that fucking tweet. He's a grifter. He's 100% a grifter. He's fame chasing. Holy shit, man. He's trying to fight Tom Holland, which I 100% want. I want, I'm not saying he's a gold digger. Yeah, he is. Um, fucking, I'm, look, I don't want him to get the fame from getting his ass kicked by Tom Holland because his name would be a fucking household name at that point, right? You know that. Everybody would be like, who the fuck is this idiot? Like, who the fuck is Tom Holland kicking the shit out of? Right? He would be a household name. That's what he wants. Trust me, I want Tom Holland to secretly meet him in an alleyway with no cameras and just one day has comes on fucking stream just messed up. And you're like, what the fuck happened? Spider-Man happened. That's what. Fucking Spider-Man happened. Late night, one of those fucking weird Twitter alleyway fights that Haz tries to get into and shit. Tom Holland rolls up in a fucking, you know, a fucking some high-end car steps out and just whoops his monkey ass all over that alleyway hops into his fucking car and leaves be amazing his fuck around and find out moment dude dude tom holland's got the best physical and fight trainers and choreographers and fucking dietitians money can buy he is a multi multi million dollar entity and property in hollywood right he would if he stepped into a fucking ring with has he'd destroy him he'd destroy him he's in perfect shape he's at the height of his athleticism He's got the best trainers behind him and has is a dumpy little munchkin pudgy fat fuck who thinks he's strong. He wouldn't even know what hit him. It'd be so hilariously bad. I I honestly fucking you do realize that Tom Holland can very literally jump over that dude's shoulders and do some flying shit over him. Have you seen him do his gymnastics shit? He came into his Spider-Man audition being able to do like front standing front flips and shit. The dude's acrobatic as fuck. Like he would literally just jump twirling over Haz's shoulders. I mean, Haz is like three inches tall anyway. It's not a huge jump for, for Tom Holland. Like, what the fuck, man? He's just cha- He's just fame chasing. That's it. He's a grifter fuck who has no morals or ethics whatsoever. None. That confirmed it for me. I've been wondering for a while. I've been wondering whether he's just a fucking uh, bipolar, psychotic, antisocial personality type or whether he's like actually a grifter too. He's a grifter. He's a grifter. He has absolutely no integrity whatsoever. He's fame chasing. He's just trying to ride Tom Holland's dick to fame. Oh, man. I have. I do parkour. So his video, uh, his vids come up on my shit, says Dig. Yeah. <laughs> HTH with CTE, says Wither. Uh, he's cash, baby. Well invested. Yeah, no. Um, fuck, HTH brings cameras everywhere. Por que no los dos? No, I think it is both. But I've been trying to figure out whether he actually believes it or whether he's a grifter. He's a grifter. Right? I know he's mentally unstable. Right? Like, he's got rapey vibes like a motherfucker. Dude, don't leave Has alone in a room with a woman. That's just... Or a particularly effeminate... Uh, thin Twinkie dude like he dude he's got rapey vibes but um no dig it's train wreck plus fucking tankies it's fucking idiot like queer commies and shit that were like yeah we need socialism and Stalinism you would be the first to be purged you dumb fuck 
right? A lot of these, I love seeing trans flags and tanky ideology on the same account on Twitter. Do those are the most mentally stable people in the room usually? Oh, for sure. I'm trans and a Stalinist. You would be rounded up and shot. 100%. You are a Western degenerate and they want you to cease existing. Like those people are the dumbest goddamn motherfuckers in the room. Fucking when you see somebody who's like, who is in the queer family and then is a tanky to boot, you're like, are you suicidal? Like, do you have a death wish? Because that's what you're asking for at that point. You're functionally, mm, you know? Twinks are bougie decadence. How dare you? Exactly. Cricks. I recently watched the new Spider-Man for free and still overpaid. Not a good movie. Of course not. I mean, I'm not into the Marvel shit. Dude, I don't like, I don't like Marvel. I don't like fucking Spider-Man. I don't like, I don't like, it's not that I don't like Marvel. I like a lot of the, the old comics and stuff, but the new Disney Marvel can go fuck itself, right? I, I, I don't like any of that stuff. I have no love for Tom Holland, but to deny who the fuck Tom Holland is and what he's capable of physically, like athletically, it's fucking dumb, right? Just because I don't like the cheesy movies the kid's in, big fucking deal right? The dude is shredded and he's got some of the best trainers in the world in his corner and has is like, I will fucking fight him. I mean, Jesus, goddamn Christ, man. Um, let's, let's just, let's look at it one more time. Okay. One of these people thinks he can kick the other person's ass. Uh, for two, so yeah, the legs are edited on that one. Just, just, let's just look at some of the back catalog. This is him as like a fucking teenager as a kid, right? This is just Tom Holland fucking around. And he went, he stuck the landing. He always looks so awkward. That's what's actually like, just, you know, whatever. That's nothing. Hey, you want to see me run up a tree? Not easy to do that on its own. <laughs> the kid's naturally athletic. He's naturally athletic. Yeah, it's why he's actually a good, a good Spider-Man. He's awkward and nerdy, but athletic as fuck. Yeah, no, he is actually, he's probably the most perfect Spider-Man that's come along in a very, very, very long time, if not the, right? Like for, for me, like, again, I'm not into these movies, but like as far as in person, like embodying the character, dude, he's in that like Heath Ledger territory of like embodying the character. He's kind of meant for it. Yeah. Dude, Tom Holland makes a perfect Spider-Man. He's he's jacked as fuck. He's nerdy as fuck. He's unassuming as fuck. But at the end of the day, he's super fucking athletic. He's super jacked. And he's really, really, really fucking good in those roles. So, yeah. Oh, I know. Right, Caboose? Um... Everyone wants to be a communist till it's time to pull up your own, pull your own weight, grow your own food, be a productive member of a community with people. People you just want to punch in the face this gesture. That's why anarchists are better at it. We really are. We're better at communal living than communists. Um, fucking vaguely reminds me of the club where Spider-Man in person turns out to be the actual Andrew Garfield. Yeah, on the wall. Fucking taking tips and shit from people on the street. Yeah. Um... Dude, no, I, I, dude has his fucking, he's full on just a piece of shit grifter. That's all he is. 
I, I've been wondering what was going on there for a while. And I wanted to, like, you know, I've been looking for the evidence. Um, we actually like doing the work. Yeah. I'm happy in a kitchen. I am. Um, so, yeah, I've been wondering um, what uh, what his actual deal was. And when he started trying to, like, ride, in, uh, ride uh, Tom Holland's fucking fame dick, I was like, oh, he's just grifter. He's just a grifter. He's just a grifter. You fucking grifter fuck. He just goes to Twitter and says inflammatory things to, to gain fame. He's one of those assholes. He's, he's, you know what? Has is worse than destiny. If you hate destiny for all of those reasons you hate destiny, well, congratulations. Has is worse. Has is basically the even more fame whore grifter type than even destiny. Yeah. Yeah, it started with the L.A. move, and it's just gotten worse since then. Yeah! He moved to L.A. to get famous. He moved to L.A. to get famous, and he couldn't fucking hack it. He couldn't fucking hack it. Thankfully, he's not nearly as good at rhetoric. Has isn't good at anything other than riling up morons. The people who follow Has are idiots. It's that simple. He believes in non-Mendelian genetics. He is a Lysenkoist. He's a Stalinist. He doesn't believe in the second law of thermodynamics. He doesn't. Be he believes the Earth uh, generates oil. That the Earth is like an oil manufacturing machine, and it's not a result. A abiotic oil theory. Abiotic oil theory. He believes in magical shit. He believes in magical shit. This dude is one step away from being that crystal hippie chick down at the fucking market. That's like, oh, I can see your auras, man. If you only use this amethyst, it would purify your third chakra. He's one step away from that. No, he doesn't believe in... No, uh, he believes DNA. He believes in de DNA. He just doesn't think it does anything. And but he doesn't believe in genes. He genes aren't a thing for has. DNA is a useless vestigial process within the biological spectrum. Within the biological activity. Yeah. He's fucking He's fucking retarded, man. I don't have another word for this. I don't have another word for this. He is so willfully ignorant. The only word I can get that I can I have access to that can convey how insanely dumb has is, is retarded. That's it. That's all that's left. He believes in abiotic oil theory. He doesn't believe in ge uh, genetics. He does. He thinks DNA does nothing. He believes in Lysenkoism. He believes in like this is just, just he's the dumbest motherfucker in the room. Whenever he's in a room and he's trying to ride Tom Holland's dick to fame. That's hilarious. Fuck that guy. Rev, Rev, to be fair, the second law of thermodynamics was financed by Jews. Nine ninety, cheers. It is astounding. I had this white yogi bitch pray over a bong at a party and told my friend who practices Santeria Yoruba about Kubana, uh, Kubana religion. It was hilarious to watch. Dude, I love, I love blessing water. I'm an ordained priest. I can make magic water. I mean, holy water. Hmm? That's 100% a thing I can do. Blessed. Hmm. You can taste the extra Jesus. Ah. Fucking people are dumb. People are fucking dumb. That's the truth of the matter. That's that's the problem. There's a lot of dumb people out there. And we don't want to come to terms with that. We can all be dumb from moment to moment. We all do stupid things. But... Forget moment to moment. Taken in its entirety. There's a lot of really dumb people out there. Carlin's Law. 
Think of all the stupid people. Now realize half of them are dumber than that. Think, think of the average. Think of the average intelligence in this, in this world, in this country, in the county, in your town, in your neighborhood. Think of the average level of intelligence. Now remember, half of them are stupider than that. Carlin's Law. And nominate Patris at Philiot, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm ordained. Suck it. Dude, all you really need to do is the intent. It's it's like, it's the intention behind it. That's all that really is. The, the Even the, the Catholic Church admits, it has acknowledged in the past that the words don't need to be spoken. The bell derp. <laughs> this is nonsense. Um, hey, sleep. Is it better to get an online priest cert or a humanist celebrant? Um, I mean, it just depends. If you just want the fucking grift, sleep easy, just get the online cert. It's fucking easy. Tengri, uh, thanks for the follow. Yeah, because that's it. Outside of Nevada, in the U.S., outside of Nevada, the online um, uh, certification, ministry certification, will work in every state. Every state. Uh, Nevada, it, we, we profit too much from weddings. Wedding is a huge industry for, for Nevada. drive through chapels and stuff like that. We also have online divorces. Um, so, like, that's, that's, in Nevada, you have to buy per individual marriage certificates from the state to issue to couples that are getting partnered, married, etc. Um, so there's extra steps in Nevada. But anywhere else in the U.S., you're good. You're good. So just do the online cert. If you're just looking for the grift, if you're just like, yeah, fuck that, then yeah, just get the online certification from like Universal Life Church. That'll work. <clears throat> Isn't it funny how a bunch of primates that discovered the microscope manipulated the entire species merely by manipulating the habitable zone in which all of us live, keeping secret the knowledge of control? Oh God, 990. <sighs> Homie, I'm not into that level of conspiracy theory. You're in too deep, man. You're in too deep. You're into that. You're you're approaching agenda tw uh, 2030 or 2022 shit. Yeah, it's time to it's time to back off, man. Before you end up fucking thinking the uh, thinking the blacks had it better under slavery and the Jews control everything. You're headed that direction. That's what that shit ends up in. I've watched it up close and personal with friends. Just pull off the reins, man. Fucking take your foot off that pedal. Pump the brake. You're headed towards it. Show them the truth about the forest. Oh, man. I bet. I bet you're such a sheeple that you believe trees are real. I bet. I bet you believe forests are real and trees are real and the Grand Canyon is it actually a canyon? You fucking sheeple. You fucking sheeple. You believe in trees, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Silicon Mesas. Silicon Mesas. 100%. So... Someone with 20 chickens. I can testify that birds aren't real. <laughs> Aspen, where do I sign up for these sex programs? <laughs> uh, what did Diggs say? Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Oh, and good news, everyone, but actually good news, not the fucking uh, the professor good news. Chickens are dinosaurs, not birds. <laughs> All birds are dinosaurs. What's up, left? Uh, good news. Um, I, I, so here. Um, so I have been looking for a thing. Ugh. Now, I couldn't find it. We'll get into that. So I've been looking for one of these. Um, this, is, this is a black Niobium segment ring. Um, unfortunately, 
Neobium is really, really difficult to find. Um, it's 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 a rare metal to be to be worked with. Um, but these things are basically impossible to find. I've been looking for a six gauge, 19 millimeter uh, internal diameter uh, piercing, uh, segment ring piercing. Uh, Dig, don't don't worry about it. Um, for a while, but I will settle for titanium because I can I can have the titanium anodized. So. I went looking and I found a um, Cassidy. Dude, Cassidy. They want, dude, they want more than one custom order. Um, so I went looking and I found a German couple, a husband wife team that manufactures, that makes jewelry in Germany that will do a titanium, implant grade titanium segment ring for me that I can then have anodized to the same color as my current piercing at least. I wanted the black neobium, but it's an impossibility, so I have to settle for second best. But second best in this case is a bespoke tight surgical uh, implant grade titanium ring handmade by an artisanal craftsperson in Germany. So, you know, yeah. I'll take that. And now I got them because I talked to her. I'm like, you got like, I'm like, nobody fucking has the diameter or the gauge that I want. She's like, yeah, we can work with that. No big deal. So I'm going to try and anodize the seal bits of my new unicycle. My, um, my piercer, Scott, he, um, he has an anodization rig in his shop. So I can just take him anything and he can anodize it too specifications like that's how we anodize the the piercing that's in there now is i showed him a color swatch basically i'm like can you match that he's like yeah no problem and he matched it so that's where we go from there Pharmacy only had one of two vials. They ran out, so I have to wait until Monday to pop both estrogen and tea blockers. I'm a little flustered, but I was glad to be here. Uh, left. I had no idea you were going that route, Left. Um, but good luck to you. It's going to be rough. You've got some changes ahead of you, but soldier through in the next year or two, you will be a new human. So I wish you luck in your journey. But I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to get weird. It's going to get weird before it gets before it gets great. Uh, what the fuck does anodizing do? It changes the color. It basically uh, creates an uh, uh, an oxidized layer on the outside of the metal. And if you do the anodization at various um, voltages or time periods, it changes the color. So you can anodize titanium to a series of colors. Um, uh, let's see color chart. There we go. There we go. So there you go. There's a there's an anodization chart essentially. And that, by the way, there's a lot more gradients in that. You can you can end up here. Uh, oh, here's a here's a good one. Here you go. Here's a really good chart. Here's a here's 124 uh, uh, colors uh, for a, a titanium anodization. Yes, you can. You can change the solution as well. There's a variety of things you can do, but yeah. Um, as is tradition with me in my life and especially on this channel and everything we talk about and do, I tried to, um, I tried to just buy it. 
right? Like that's, that's what happened is I tried to just buy a piece of jewelry I wanted and I couldn't get it done because nobody wants to manufacture it. It's all out of stock. It's all X, Y, and Z excuses, right? So what did I have to do? I turned to the way that things used to be made, the way things ideally for a lot of stuff that we do should be made. A person with two hands who I can speak to, who will be making this piece for me, right? That's crafts, crafts people. That. Kai, the barbarian ring forging montage. Um, I, dude, I, I, I intend to go up one more size. And this was who he wasn't that expensive. This wasn't that expensive. This was really, really fair, especially coming from Germany. I, I, I am shocked for implant grade titanium hand crafted shipped to me from Germany. I'm shocked by how little it cost. I'm not even in triple digits, not even in triple digits. It, it, it's, it's a fair price. It's a really fair price. Um, so I'm, I will return to this couple for future pieces. Cat, go see someone who makes gloves. Um, poutine, uh, poutine, poutine's a good dish. Poutine's a good dish. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I'll get my next piece from them as well. I may just order it soon, too. I may just order it anyway. Just get it ahead of time. Uh, as the resident Quebecois. As the resident Quebec. Uh, yes, we love poutine. Dude, poutine is great. I mean, price reveal? Uh, 66 bucks. 66 and change. Nears makes no difference, sixty-seven dollars. Well, thank you, Action TV. Um, we do not love Putin. We do love poutine, though. Um, yeah, yeah, Crimson, sixty-six, sixty-seven bucks. They had uh, they had the titanium on hand, and not that difficult. Apparently, apparently it just requires rolling out the dowel to the correct um, diameter, um, bending the ring, uh, punching, uh, punching the ends for the indentations, cutting a segment, punch those ends for the segmentation, and then curving the entire thing over a ring and getting it lined up and then polishing it. Um, so apparently it's not that... Um, costly to do like it's not that labor intensive to actually make it's just not a high demand item so it's difficult to get anybody to mass produce them apparently but if somebody has the like the implant titanium on hand then no big deal it is crimson it's a fucking steal it's a fucking steal when i saw the price i was like are you shitting me i'm like send me an invoice she sent me i'm like I felt like I should check like the math was done incorrectly or something like did you did you do your math right did you drop a decimal place because you're dealing with an American yeah people get scared when they're not easy to remove says beast I dude I I haven't taken my PA out once since I got it why would I I, I don't, uh, you know, yeah, I don't understand people that take piercings out. Why? Isn't the whole intention of keeping a hole there and having a thing in the hole? Like that was the idea with the piercing in the first place. Why are you constantly taking it out? So. Wait, was that in dollars or euros? No, Marcus, that was in dollars. I was, um... I would pay, literally pay that for, for anything made by an actual person these days easily. Yeah. No, I, I can like, um, it was, 
Hold on. It was $66.17 because it was 60 uh, 60 euro, uh, 60.72 euros. Cassidy, I have piercings I haven't taken the jewelry out of in over 15 plus years. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand that mentality. People constantly fucking taking their jewelry out and shit. It was 60.72 euros, which is 66.17 US dollars. Yeah. Um, and I can get you copy image address because they have made them before she had a, a sample picture that she could send me. This is, I don't think this is, this is not the diameter. Uh, I'm sorry, this isn't the gauge. Like, this isn't specifically the gauge and size, but this is a segment ring. This is a titanium segment ring. That's it. It's just a continuous piece of metal with two areas that pinch in. That's it. So, yeah. She tossed me a photo. I have no piercing or tattoos. I'm a Gen X scaredy cat. Dude. Left, I feel you. I get it. I get it. But I'm a big fan of customizing products. As far as I'm concerned, you know, some customization goes a long way. Yeah, I, dude, I, I wouldn't. I wish I got my. I, sh I wish I got my dick pierced when I was like 18. Seriously, I, I was a little bitch about it for a lot of years. I was a little bitch about it for a lot of years. I should have just done it. Right. I'm running out of space for ink. Customizing allows us to feel that nothing is actually manufactured. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, also, I'm <laughs> more talking about our own bodies. Yes. We're talking about our own bodies. Yeah. So it's it's the ability to change it. It's dyeing your hair, getting a new haircut, getting your ears pierced, getting your tongue split down the middle by uh, bifurcated tongues, fucking getting a, 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 a fucking metonomy or whatever the fuck the name for that one is for splitting down your fucking dick, right? Like there's, there's all sorts of shit, weird and interesting ways to customize your body outside the norm. And I'm here for all of them. I'm not going to do all of them, but I love at, what's up, Squee? I love absolutely all of them. I love all of them. I love body mods. I love the whole world of that. I'm fascinated by it. Human beings' willingness to like undergo great discomfort and pain to alter their appearance to a huge degree is a fascinating aspect of our psychology and part of the human condition. My most wild body mod is glasses, says Bubbly. I mean, you know, you could keep it keep it default. Lots of co car owners, you know, keep it stock. Keeps the resale value up. <laughs> I cut the ligament under my tongue when I was a teenager with toenail clippers. Rev, you've told me that before, and I still say that's fucking hardcore. Rock the fuck on. Truth be told, I would love to taste a body part with metal on it or in it. <laughs> I mean, left, I can tell you the niobium apparently on my dick doesn't taste metallic at all. People have, like, I've had a couple of first timers. Three. I've had three first timers since since I fucking got my piercing. And with, with a PA. Not in general first time, but first time with a PA. There's no... Like, you know, one of them was actually like, will I test metal? No. It's completely inert. So, 
you don't taste anything other than what you normally taste anyway. Uh, yeah, Squeed, did you not know I have a PA? My dick is pierced. Yeah. There's a, there's a hole in my dick. Can I see? Slide it in my DMs and Squeed. Squeed, just go look at any, uh, any Prince Albert piercing. You know what it looks like. Song, then hard pass. Honestly, if I ever lost a limb, I'd become so fucking bionic. My dad's an engineer. Basically, planet terror my ass. Nice. You want to see mine? Sorry, Squeak. Oh, nope. Mine isn't on the menu. I'm sorry. Oh, one time I was tonguing some gauges in my, uh, at the moment, partner's ears, and she told me that was gross. Squeak, one day. Um, Yeah. I don't need to know you like that, Squee. You don't need to know me like that. Because, did it hurt? I mean, it doesn't feel great. It's a, it's a fucking piece of hardened steel getting shoved into your dick. Right? Like, it's it's not exactly like... It's not a blowjob. It's not a blowjob. It hurts. But not... There's far, far worse pains in this world than that. It, it's, it doesn't even, like, on the rank of shit that should, st like, pain levels that should stop you or prevent you from doing something, doesn't even rank. It's not even worth mentioning. Yeah, it's gonna fucking hurt, but not, not in that realm. Does that count as parasocial public? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going up, going up on the Anarcho Meatheads channel next is fucking Kai's dick. Jesus Christ. Uh, I had a metal cap on one of my molars as a kid. I didn't taste metal unless there was other metal in my mouth. Yeah. Um, completely heterosexual, but I'm attracted to intelligence. Nice channel on superior minds and ears. It's 990. Well, thank you. Um, fucking nobody take that as a challenge. Nobody try and convert 990. I hate that shit. Uh, I used to do it though. <clears throat> dig. Yes, dig. Dig does have plugged ears. I can testify to that. Uh, I've had my ears plugged for like 17 years now, and I absolutely hate when guys tongue my ears. Like, what is your life? Aw, Dig, you're no fun. Uh, I remember when I had fillings and I accidentally bit tin foils as beasts. Yeah, apparently that's a thing. <laughs> Mark is about the heterosexual. Burn the heretic! Um... I honestly believe no one is 100% straight since Squee. I mean, for the right price, I'd swing that way. Give me a billion dollars. I'll fucking bang a chick. I'll, I'll take a fucking Viagra and do what I need to do. Like, I'll get a, I'll fucking get some, like, you know, hot slave boy for myself and fucking, like, he can, he can work me as I need to be worked. Right? I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. Right? You give me a billion dollars to bang some chick. I'll get the job done, right? Like, that's, you know. I'll meet you partway. 99.9. .9. I feel you. Uh, am I dropping frames? Maybe. Fuck if I know. Um, so, Jesus Christ, squee. <laughs> squee. <laughs> Uh, Beast just stand in the corner and pose while I make this money. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone would do nearly anything for a billion uh, for a billion. Says public. Yeah, no, even the ultras would, would be all. I could do a lot of good with that money. No, and yeah, hundred percent. For a billion dollars, I don't see a whole lot of people in this world not doing some shit. Yeah, you'd all already have your job is a job. You'd already have to have billions of dollars to be like, yeah, I'm good. Dig, what would be your deal breaker for a billion? <sighs> I don't maybe kill my mom. You gotta have my stepdad. Whatever. Um Yeah, probably do harm to my mom. That's about that's that's about it. I can't think of much. I got some horrible, horrible things that people are into sexually and have proclivities for in my head right now. There's nothing in there that I'm like, billion dollars, man. Just suck it up and do what you got to do. Tomorrow you're a billionaire. Marcus said, I'd kill my mom for a billion. She'd understand to do the same. <laughs> uh... 
Yes, you would, Rev. Anyway, I know you say you would, but you would. Billion dollars, real billion on the table, real, actual, not a hypothetical. You'd do it. You'd do it. You'd be like, I can do this for eight more hours. Fuck it. I mean, do I have to walk it? I'll get across it. What's with libertarians and age of consent laws? Uh, functionally, all libertarians uh, want to bang underage kids. That seems to be the thing. I, I, Sorry for sweeping generalizations, but dude, libertarians constantly want to bang little kids. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, they want their child brides, damn it. <laughs> yes, and they uh, so they they usually settle for Asian women. They usually settle for Asian women. Um, my wife. Um. So yeah, that that's, you know, looking at you, non compete. Looking at you, uh, Zippy. I'm scheduled for the Zap Zap in May. What is the Zap Zap? Is the laser hair room? What what zap zap are we talking, Zippy? Um, you can, dude. I'm I'm almost forty. I'll be forty here in a minute. It's coming up fast. So, um, oh, trans uh, uh, the transcranial magnetic stimulation. Um. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. That's that's what you got another zap zap schedule for. Okay, cool. Good on you, Zippy. Um, all they got to do is move to a Republican state and get married, dude. What? Is, <laughs> could they project any harder? Could they project any fucking harder, dude? You show me every conservative that's pissed off or fucking like with moral outrage about trans issues and Disney and the don't say gay stuff. And I'll show you somebody who's projecting their pedophilia. Holy fuck, man. Dude, that's that is insane. Some of the shit that they're up to. These goddamn, these goddamn liberals are looking to sexualize our children. Can we revoke the age of consent on marriage? I'm sorry, what? Mm. Question. Person who's proposing this in Tennessee, do you happen to have a, a, a child bride that you functionally groomed? Oh, you do. You do. Um, do, are there photos of you with your like newborn and shit where she looks like she's still 12 and you are like a billion years old? Oh, you do have those creepy photos. You do have those creepy. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, so uh, again, back to this outrage about, uh, Democrats sexualizing children. Um, what, what, so what age do you want to lower the marriage age to? Oh, you want to get rid of it entirely. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm sure that no way relates to one another. We looked at those photos on the stream the other day, too. That shit is creepy as fuck. That fucking John, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know, John Walsh or whatever the fuck. I, I forget whatever that Tennessee fucking dude's name is. That, like, straight up. Oh. Hey, Cassie, I saw that. Y'all had to as well. Yeah, Greg Kelly out here talking about groomers, but wants a child bride. No, it's fucking, it's weird as shit. It's weird as shit. Oh, John Rose. Yeah, Tom Rose. Is it Tom Rose? No. John Rose. John Rose. I, it's John Rose. I think. Oh, let me just type John Rose and Child Bride. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's him. Oh. God damn.
Uh, Rev, see my previous comment, please, if you like. Something, something, it takes a pedo was your previous comment. Beyond that, something, something, it takes a pedo, yeah. Uh, oh, Chowder, uh, so Chowder recently blamed SJWs for being child predators, and his guest for the day was literally Matt fucking Gates. Of course. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Fuck it. These goddamn child predators, our next guest today is, uh, tonight is Matt Gates, who literally fucks minors. Dude, Republicans got a kitty fucking problem. The Republicans fuck kids. Dude, we've been... Dude, there's some... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, do I have that shit? Hold on. I fucking saved this recently. I got a list. Oh, Republican Ralph Shorty, uh, Oklahoma State Senator, uh, child trafficking. Uh, Rep Republican Speaker of the House, Dennert Hazard. Fucking, dude, he was banging boys as young as 14. He fucking paid his way out of it. Republican Tim Nolan, he was chairman of Donald Trump's presidential campaign in Kentucky. Uh, State Senator, Republican, these are all Republicans, just so you know. Ralph uh, Ralph Shorty again, He uh, four counts of human trafficking. Minnesota State Representative Jim Noblock um, fucking molested his daughter for more than 10 years, uh, anti-abortion activist, uh, convicted child rapist, of course, uh, Republican County Commissioner David Swartz, molesting two girls under the age of 11, a Republican Judge Mark, I can't even say that dude's last name, no contest to fondling a 10-year-old girl, Oh, Republican legislature Ed Edison Milsla Alderano sentenced to 10 years for raping his daughters between the age of 9 and 17. Republican Mayor Philip Giordano, uh, 37 a year sentence in federal prison for sexually abusing 8 and 10 year old girls. Republican campaign consultant Tom Shortage, he's, um, t he took nude photos of a 15 year old girl. Strom Thurmond, notable racist of course, um, had sex with a 15 year old black girl with produced a child. Um, Republican pastor Mike Hintz, whom George W. Bush commended during the 2004 uh, presidential campaign, surrendered to police after admitting uh, to a sexual affair with a under 14. Uh, Republican pa uh, legislator Peter Dibble, uh, no contest inappropriate relationship with a 13-year-old. Republican con Congress uh, Congressman Donald Buzz Lookins, guilty of sex with a female minor. Uh, Republican fundraiser a, uh, Richard A. Delgado, get child porn, uh, also paying two girls uh, to pose for sexual photos. Um, yeah, I'll get it to you, boom. Um, Republican activist Mark A. Grethen, convicted on six counts of sex crimes involving children. Republican activist Randall Day, uh, David Ackney, uh, sexual assault on a child. Uh, Republican Congressman Dan Crane, sex with a female minor, working as a congressional page. Republican activist Christian Coalition leader Beverly Russell, admitted to an incestuous relationship with his stepdaughter, underage as well. Republican Congressman and anti-gay activist Robert Bauman, charged with having sex with a 16-year-old boy he picked up at a gay bar. Uh, this list goes on and on. I can just keep reading, by the way. This this is Republican activist Marty Glickman, a.k.a. Republican Marty. Um, he was four counts of unlawful sexual activity with an underage girl, one count of delivering uh, drugs for the purposes of. Republican legislative aide Howard Brooks, charged with molesting a 12-year-old boy in possession of child pornography. Republican Senate candidate John Hathaway, sex with his 12-year-old baby, uh, babysitter. Uh, Republican preacher Stephen White, who demanded a return to traditional values, sentenced to jail for offering $20 to a 14-year-old boy for permission to perform oral sex on him. Republican, uh, let's see, a Republican talk show host John Matthews pleaded guilty to exposing his genitals to an 11-year-old girl. Republican anti-gay activist Earl Butch Kimmering sentenced to 40 years for molesting an 8-year-old girl after he attempted to stop a gay couple from adopting her. Yes, the gays couldn't adopt the 8-year-old girl because he wanted to rape her. That was, that's, he, that, that was fucking for Jesus or something. Republican Party leader Paul Ingram pleaded, uh, pleaded guilty to six counts of raping his daughters. 
Fucking Republican election board official Kevin Cohn sentenced to two years uh, probation, <laughs> probation for soliciting sex over the internet from a 14-year-old girl. Republican, Republican politician Andrew Burr has charged with two counts of first-degree sodomy with a 13-year-old boy. Republican politician Keith Westmoreland arrested on seven felony counts of lewd and lascivious expedition to, uh, exhibition to girls under the age of 16. Repu Republican anti-abortionist uh, anti-abortion activist John Allen Burt, sexual misconduct involving a 15-year-old. Republican uh, County Councilman Keila Childs pleads guilty to molesting a male child. Republican activist John Butler charged with criminal assault on a teenage girl. Republican candidate Richard Gardner admitted to molesting his own uh, two daughters. County com uh, Republican County Commissioner Mar uh, Merrill Robert Barter pleaded guilty to unlawful sexual contact and assault on a teenage boy. Republican City Councilman Fred C. Smeltzer Jr. pleaded no contest to raping a 15-year-old girl. Republican activist J uh, Parker J. Benna, possession of child pornography. Uh, Republican parole board officer and former Colorado state representative Larry Jack Swartz, uh, child pornography. Republican strategist and Citadel Military College graduate Robert uh, Robin Vanderwall, five counts of soliciting, soliciting sex from boys and girls under the age of uh, under the age of sixteen over the internet. Republican City Councilman Mark Harris, who's described as quote a good military man and quote churchgoer, repeatedly having sex with an eleven year old girl, sentenced to twelve years in prison. John Gruffman, again a Republican business candidate who had to re withdraw his candidacy for Minnesota governor after it uh, after it surfaced that he went swimming in the nude with four under. Age girls. Fucking Republican director of the Young Republican Federation, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Elizondo, molested his six year old daughter. Republican benefactor of conservative Christian groups, Richard A. Dason, charged with rape for, uh, for paying a 15 year old girl for sex, 62 with married and grown children and several grandchildren, uh, told the police over the past decade he paid more than $1 million to have sex with a large number, quote, of young women. Can I stop reading this list now? Because I'm starting to get a little, little vomit going in the back of my throat. Republicans and conservatives in this country fuck kids. Start here. Pedocons. Pedocons. Uh, it will be in, um, you know what? It'll be in the Four Horsemen on the server. Start there. Look for... There you go. Just look for the last comment on the Four Horsemen channel, and you'll see pedo list. Go there. Start there. How about facts? I just read you a fucking list. A list of dozens of Republicans convicted for. Where's your list, bitch? Where's your list? This isn't saying this. This is the fact that dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens into the hundreds, by the way, now of fucking conservatives and Republicans in the political sphere in this country. These aren't nobodies. These are governors. These are judges. These are Congress people. These are senators. All fucking kids. Where's your fucking list? Put up or shut up. Because I got a fucking list. That's not even the full list. That's not even the full list. It's always projection. It's always projection. Dude, you show me somebody who's projecting this shit, I'll show you somebody who's got in inclinations. If you come at me with that shit, my first suspicion, my first suspicion is you want to fuck kids. That's my very first suspicion. If you start yelling about Democrats wanting to, wanting to fuck kids, the very first thing in my brain goes, that motherfucker wants to fuck kids. Straight up. That pattern has been long established in this country. Long established. You show me an anti-gay pastor, I'll show you somebody who's steady banging rent boys and doing crystal meth in a seedy motel, like freeway motel on the weekends. Dude, that shit happens all the time. All the fuck time. Except I have a list, homie. I have an actual list. I got my evidence. You can sit there and go what about all you want. But it makes you look like a fucking fool. 
Where's your Democrat fucking sexual assault list? Where's your Democrat pedophile list? Homie, put up or shut up. If you can't put up, then shut the fuck up. Who is that dude? The Christians have the best sex lives guy. Oh, I don't fucking remember off the top of my head, but let's just fucking look for him. Um, Peter Haas, maybe. You're dude. RZ, just don't leave and don't come back, man. Leave and don't come back. Seriously. You're what abouting? You're what abouting child rape? Homie. You're both sidesing. You're enlightened centrising child rape. You would defend the Catholic Church. You would defend the Catholic Church, wouldn't you? You'd be like, well, it's not all the priests. It's the entirety of the system creating a, uh, creating a possibility for it to exist and then protecting that those that per, uh, perpetrate it. It's a systemic problem. And if you can't see that, you're blind, you're delusional, and there's no point in further conversation. There's no point. This is completely non-productive at that point. If you can't see that one team has a problem. Dude, Democrats got all sorts of fucking problems. But you know what? They're not raping children in mass. Republicans are raping children in mass. Christian conservatives are raping children en masse. This is a systemic problem within certain groups of this, of this community. It's a subculture that, has, that is toxic and corrupt and taking advantage of the least amongst us, the innocents, the one who's can't def who can't defend themselves. That's why they want child brides. It's not Democrats trying to, to get rid of a fucking child marriage laws in this country. You're both sidesing fucking raping 12 year olds dude only one team is trying to fucking get rid of child bride laws only one team is constantly trying to reduce age of consent so fuck off i'm done having this conversation with you you're fucking stupid i this i know conversational not adversarial guys but no i'm not gonna fucking be conversational about child rape You're a fucking kitty diddler as far as I can tell. Dude, you're fucking defending kitty diddlers. You're defending child rapists. Homie. Pick a fucking team. Oh, you look at you looking at teams and being tribalistic instead of fuck. Yeah, you know what? I'm not on team fuck kids. If you're on team fuck kids, then fuck off. One of these teams is fucking kids. They're literally trying to make it legal to fuck kids. And you're sitting there going, well, it's uh, both sides are the same. You know, <coughs> they, they all, the Democrats do the same sort of thing. No, they don't. No, they don't. They got a lot of fucking problems. But the Democrats aren't trying to get rid of child marriage laws. The Democrats aren't trying to lower the age of consent on ki uh, into like 12 year olds and shit like that. You're a fucking holy shit, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. You are the worst amongst us. You are attempting to what about and enlightened centrism, child rape. Go away. Nobody wants to be around a pedophile defender. Nobody wants to be around the person who's going, well, actually, it's not that bad. Or they both do it sometimes. No, they don't. Not anywhere to this degree. So go away, man. Don't come back. Don't come back. Nobody wants to hang out with the kitty diddler defender. I don't want the kitty diddler defender on my channel. Dude, I will talk to Nazis. I'll talk to white supremacists. I will bring a fascist on the air and let them speak to me directly. But to sit there and go, and what about? And both sides are equal? Child rape? No, homie. Fuck off. Fuck right off. You aren't welcome here. 
No one likes that. Go away. Don't ever come back. Yes, this is hate speech. Me criticizing people who rape children is hate speech. Yes, most assuredly. Yes. Yeah. Me me saying I personally believe that raping children is a horrible, horrible crime and those who do it should be punished in some way, shape, or form or at least removed from society so we can protect said children. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one committing hate speech. Fuck off and don't ever come back. You're a worthless piece of shit. You're a garbage human being. You're the reason everything is wrong in this world. Uh, that felt fun. Uh, cast leaf. Oh, we had somebody um, defending child rape, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> we had somebody attempting to couch and provide cover and child rape. 12 year old and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, why are you still here? Unfollow and leave. I will remove your follow myself. Go away. Where's my follower remover? There we go. I will fucking remove your follow myself. I don't want a kitty diddler on my fucking list. Go the fuck away, man. I hate banning people. I hate banning people. Be a fucking, just accept that you're a horrible garbage human being and get the fuck off this channel permanently. Don't ever come back here. If I ever see you back here again, we will immediately start calling you a kitty diddler at that point. Dude, you attempted to defend. Oh, don't even worry about it, Crimson. I'll get you your points back. I can't believe you, what you just tried to do. That was that was the filthiest shit I've seen in a while. Holy shit, man. Ugh. After that fucking list I read, there's going to be a bunch of points coming back because I'm just going to fucking reject all of them and refund them. <sighs> oh. Yeah, oh yeah. In the real words of Richard Wolf, it is disgusting. Oh, no, no, he's not on Discord. Don't worry, I would have pulled him there immediately. Um, uh, action, uh, action uh, TV. He was attempting to provide political cover that for those that do. Yeah. Damn it, how am I supposed to collect them all now? This is Crimson. Sorry, Crimson. He's already gone. Um, but let me make sure his his follow is removed as well. Uh, 990. Actually, on this channel, we go by 25. Uh, I don't believe in 18. 18 is arbitrary. Um... What's that weirdo's fucking username? What is that weirdo's fucking username? RZ, RZ49, holy shit.
like, ugh. Homie. Um, no, I don't think defending child rape is actually against TOS. I don't, I think he can get away with it. I don't think there's anything TOS reportable, frankly. I, I legitimately don't. Um, Cheshire, uh, honestly, 25 is a good rule. Like the best thing about turning 40 was that people stop looking at you like for a freak for having no desire to date on anyone under 30 ever again. Yeah. Um, 25 is where science catches up. It was hilarious when you go, when you called him a kitty diddler. Dude, um, <laughs> um, fucking, um, prefrontal cortex development doesn't cease until around 25. Sometimes it's up as high as 28, but I'm going to have the discussion as tw at 25. Basically the, the portion of your brain that is responsible for long-term planning and that sort of, um, cognitive, uh, ex higher executive function in decision, uh, decision making is the prefrontal cortex. And it isn't done developing until around 25, which means you're not actually a functional human being until like 28 to 30. Right. Where you actually get some sh experience into that portion of your brain that is now actually developed. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, anything under the age of 25 is kind of a no go over a certain age. Right. I, I easily rubber bands. Right. If you're 25, bang a 25 year old. If you're 25, bang a fucking 18 year old. Like it, it's workable. I get it. Um, but if you're 40 and you're banging a 23 year old, you're doing a kid. Like, that's a kid. There's, 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 there's no way that I can look at a fucking, like an 18 or a 20 year old and not see a fucking child. Like they're, they're a child. They have no life experience. They have no ca capacity for that level of long-term planning. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually latte. No, you legitimately can like legitimately you can latte. When I was 19, I was with a 35-year-old. It was weird when I look back. He's four years younger than my dad. Dig had some daddy issue. Uh, action, this brother who's streaming is 40 years old. Yes, I'm, I'm nearest makes no difference. Yes, I'm basically 40, my man. Yeah. What about Melina and Destiny? I don't, I don't know what that is. Is that Destiny's par person, partner, girlfriend? I, I, don't, I don't keep up with these fucking people. I have parental issues. No one said I love you, says Dig. Ugh. Yep, that'll do it. Hell, well, hell yeah. I'm not a failure yet, says Latte. Uh, Rev, I was uh, I was with an 18-year-old once when I was 21. Still feels weird in hindsight. Yeah. Thank you, Action. Um, let's see. I was with somebody considerable old, considerably older in my early 20s, and it took a few years, but once it hit, really fucked me up in a bad way, says Aka. Pretty sure that was Akka that said that. Yeah, it was Akka. Um, fucking Cheshire, uh, like, even if their brain was developed, it has zero experience situation. You can't have a um, something. Uh, but no, I feel you, Cheshire. Like, that's that's the thing. Like, even if you hit 25 and your, your prefrontal cortex is developed now, you don't have any experience in it, really. So, like, I don't consider you a human being until, like, 28, 30. Like is, is, is an adult, right? Like you're, you're still a fetus at that point. And I do. What's up, Viva? I literally call people fetuses in this fucking channel. Like you, you can ask like some of the younger members of the community. I call them fetuses. I'm like, you guys, you're still a fetus, man. <laughs> you're not even a fucking, <laughs> not even get back to me in a few years. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it, but fucking you're a fetus still even. Hmm. Astrology has 29. Makes sense. Um, hey, yeah, go for it, actually. Um, I went home with a 24-year-old about a month ago. It was interesting. Aspen, how old are you? Um, dude, I got nothing. I got nothing for a fucking 20, 18, 20, 22-year-old. Like, just shut the fuck up and, like, look pretty, I guess. Because Bobby's seven years older than me, says Cassie. Yeah, but y'all old as fuck. It's, nobody gives a shit about a fucking 90 year old and an 83 year old. Y'all old as fuck. <laughs> Love you, Bobby. Love you, Cassidy. Um, 
Did I use any vaccine in my life? I am fully vaccinated above and beyond what a lot of people have, actually. Except for military. Military has me beat by miles. But no, I'm, I'm fully vaccinated. Um, including the hepatitis, including yellow fever, including... Um, there's a few others I got for travel. So I have all of my vaccines, full CDC complement plus some for travel and for gay sex because the hep B vaccine is usually recommended for us as well. So all of that. Um, what did I eat? What do I eat currently? Now that, <laughs> that is an interesting question. I grew up in Vermont with acres and acres of hand-maintained organic gardens and a greenhouse. Um, and I, I had, you know, my dalliances as a teenager after we moved out of the Northeast Corridor. Um, I ate Del Taco and Taco Bell and Pizza Hut like, and Hot Pockets and Bagel Bites. Thank you, Aka. Um, <laughs> um fucking um just like any other american teenager but then i came back home basically um dietarily speaking i'm not back in vermont yet um so my diet is extraordinarily clean my diet is extraordinarily tightly designed as well by me it isn't just willy-nilly i get to eat this or i get to eat that it is specifically driven based on micro and macronutrients and uh non-inflammatory um items so that is that is the answer. So, um, still uses me. Okay, congrats on the sex guy. Uh, topping isn't as much fun as bottoming. Uh, do you eat many pears, Kai? No, I don't actually. I don't eat a whole lot of pears. Pears are a textural issue for me. I like a good crunchy pear. I like a, a pear with a bite and a snap, but I don't like um, any mealy pears. Oh, God. A mealy apple is just the worst. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's got to be pulled, Cupcake. I didn't even see that. That should have been handled by mods, Cupcake. Um... Pear flavor with apple texture. Yeah, cat, that'd be great. Yeah, apple like a good crisp apple with a pear text uh, with a pear flavor. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Action, just heads up and warning. Um, threats of violence. You know which comment I'm talking about. We don't need to revisit it. Just a heads up. Heads up. No threats of violence. Um, I pulled it from the from the log, but it's already gone by. Um. Pears suck. They're like a mouthful of wet sand. Dude, the texture on pears is rough. It's rough. Um, so, yeah. Wait. Hold on. Radical leftist agenda is rating with a party of 19. This should be interesting. Uh, crisp pears are where it's at. Yeah, exactly, Latte. Um, Fucking, yeah, action, it was the, um, <clears throat> comment, just, I don't know, public, no idea, unfamiliar, how was your stream, what do you get up to? Thank you, Lust Bones, thank you for the follow, um, this should be interesting, I, 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 I do, with these kind of names, I'm always a little hesitant, watching YouTube mostly, would you watch? Cupcake, if you want to get on that, actually. Um, thanks for the workshopping on pears. I grow them. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it's always a, um, it's always a, some guy who looks at New York City apartments <laughs> priced well. I, uh, I, I showed some uh, real estate out in California earlier in the stream. Um, definitely, uh, a, 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 definitely a looker. You know, if anybody's looking for a piece of real estate, um, I can, I can get you the listing. I can get you that hookup. Uh, Dig, I feel like I rarely see pears in the store here. I don't look. No, they're not. They're not out here very much. Uh, I like the Korean pears. They, they come in lingerie. It's just nonsense. Uh,
Is that the one that I do? Do uh, is that the one that comes in the like the netting or something like that? Like that foam net. Korean pears are my favorites. Is the leftist the leftist agenda? Yeah, we uh, dude. So basically, we're like sort of in like come down from dude. I had to fucking run a, a a dude out that was defending like child rape. That's that's what we're coming off of. We were talking about Republican and conservative uh, molestation and rape and sexual assault of minors and even fucking like kids, small children. And I have a list, just a giant fucking list, right? And I was going through the fucking list, and this motherfucker was like defending, right? And so I had to run him out of here and like so we're just sort of coming down off of this by talking about like just some we're like eh, let's talk about some fruit right like let's talk about some pears and that sort of thing yeah the guy was trying to what about like using whataboutism and like enlightened centrism and shit and like both sides and stuff it's like homie yeah we just so yeah we're talking about we're talking about fruit right now this is sort of as a palate cleanser because of all the all of the child rape we had to talk about. Yeah. Oh. Um. Fucking. Yeah, the, the netting. Okay. All right. Best thing about pears, though, they're hypoallergenic. Super safe to eat. Oh, do we know it? I know I do about that. Um, cosmic crisp apple. They're crisp and they're nice, crisp and sweet. See, Peaky, I like a sour apple. I like a Granny Smith. I like a I like an apple with a bite. I don't really like super sweet um, apples. Turns out I'm allergic to melons and bananas and had no idea Zadaka. I just thought my whole life they were supposed to burn. <laughs> I've heard that before, actually, that people just like had allergies and had no idea that it's not supposed to make your throat close when you eat it and shit. That is not the first time I've heard that, Aka. Aspen said, meh, Cosmic Crisp is a marketing ploy. They I It's like a, it's like a space apple, says public. <laughs> uh, my favorite is a honey crisp. Uh, a crimson, I don't think I've had a pear in years now that I think about it. I like gala apples because they sound fancy, says public. Fan, pub, public losers, uh, well-known fancy pants. For me, it was the soap flavor and cilantro, says Kat. Meat makes my teeth itch. Apparently, that's a sign of allergic reaction. Yeah, Rev. Favorite three fruits. Can I be hyper specific, Boom? Can I be like hyper specific? Because I, I I have answers for you probably off the top of my head, but fucking, it's not shit you're gonna be able to run out and get. Okay, um, I want forest strawberries from the forests of uh of the mountains of vermont okay because that's i grew up there i know what a good forest strawberry from vermont is like i want a, a forest strawberry they're they're itty bitty little things and in that little itty bitty thing they there is more flavor and aroma packed into that than in a thousand 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 crates of uh store-bought strawberries there is nothing akin to it um, so that is number one. Uh, number two is blackberries from my yard in Vermont. Um, they can also come from the surrounding area, um, sort of northern Vermont, um, sort of mid, uh, mid to central to eastern nor northern Vermont, right near the Canadian border. Blackberries from that same region are super amazing. Um, and then I will take just a general, really right, uh, a really good plum that's on the edge of ripeness, little, little texture and crispness and bite to it, but like a, uh, like a purple or black plum for me, that's sort of my tier, um, is just forest strawberries from Northern Vermont, blackberries specifically from my yard in Vermont, and then, um, black plums or purple plums from just about anywhere I will take. I have had, oh, oh uh, yes, oh yeah, I was, thought you said pickled. Yes, I have had huckleberries as well. Yeah. I'm allergic to medicines and Joshua tree and mesquite tree. Only thing I know that'll ki kill me and I live in the desert full of Joshua trees. Well, don't go eating them, dig. Um, don't go eating them. I like pink grapefruits. Nice blend of the best, best aspects of white and red, says Wear Pilgrim. I... I have come to really, okay, so when I was a kid, like I would eat like a grapefruit or something like in um, Florida when I visit to, uh, visit my grandparents. 
and like you know, cut it in half and just cover it in sugar, right? Cover it in sugar. As an adult, I love grapefruit, just unadulterated, just sour and bitter and astringic, right? I love that. That as I've gotten old, dude, yeah. Get, get, that, get that fucking sugar out of here on the grapefruit. Dude, I'll just drink its juice straight. I'll fucking eat a grapefruit. So I don't mind that at all. Yeah, that as, as I've gotten older, that, that grew on me a bunch. Olives, too, are in that category. I hated olives as a kid. But as an adult, dude, a good artisanal olive, yeah, like properly packed and shit. Yeah, oh yeah. I love a good olive. Um, I like the bitter taste of grapefruit, says Dig. That's because you're fucking old as fuck like me, Dig. Uh, Cassidy, I just planted a huge array of different berries, including blackberries, jossa berries, nanking berries, hardy kiwi, raspberries, more fig trees, hazelnuts, etc. Nice. Uh, hot take, hot take. It's because of taste buds getting less sensitive. No, no, cat. That's not a hot take. That's just straight up. That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. My taste buds are dying as I get old. You, they're just burned in. You need more salt. You need more flavor. You need more everything. Yeah. It's because they're less sensitive. Your brain is jaded and your taste buds are deadened. That's what it boils down to. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but I miss the crab apples and rhubarb from when I was a kid. We used to peel the rhubarb stalk and just eat it raw. I used to bite and gnaw on it a little bit, Crimson. We had rhubarb. And, uh, you know, I was taught early by my mother, don't eat the goddamn leaves. You will fucking die. Um, but, like... Uh, yeah, like I just snap off a stalk of rhubarb and just a little bit to get the holy shit. Oh yeah, it's uh, they're toxic. Okay, don't like you may not die, but yeah, don't don't eat rhubarb leaves. They're uncooked or something like that. Raw rhubarb leaves will fuck you up apparently. Yeah. Uh, I love spicy foods. A dick. I get scared of developing this guy gastro thing. It makes me want to eat bland food because you eat too much spice. Yeah, diarrhea for days, says Cassidy. Yeah. Uh, pomegranate from my neighbor's tree was awesome. Dude, pomegranates are awesome. Um, I, I like most fruits. I like most fruits. Dude, fruits are baller. Dude, how do you not like fruit? It's funny how our choices of plants are different. For me, chewing plant with some fresh sugar cane. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking cat. I'll eat some fresh sugar cane. I just didn't have it in Vermont. Persian rice and kebab. Hey, down, I'm down. Dude, that's food is the food is the thing that that we um Oh god. Thank you cupcake. Um love my grandfather's radishes growing up. Dude, Zippy, we used to grow the most potent radishes. Like burn your mouse, uh, mouse, burn your mouth, like just nostrils, right? Like it literally like a good, um, horseradish in that territory. The, 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 the fucking radishes that my mom grew growing up, you would fucking exhale and your nostrils, your sinuses would just burn. They were so sulfuric, so potent. I miss those things. Yeah, you know, like dragon breath. Yes. Uh, persimmon. I've had persimmon. There's not many fruits I haven't had, but I don't remember persimmon off the top of my head what it, what my experience was like. Um, also had an apricot tree. Uh, well, okay, so Zippy, now the big question is, is it apricot or apricot? Apricot, number one, or apricot, number two? Feel free to answer, everyone. Apricot or apricot? Akas with apricot. One, one, one. One. Interesting. Looks like the ones have it. Holy shit. Need to get more southerners in here. <laughs> the southerners are not represented well enough. Uh, Crystal said two. Crystal went with an apricot. Yeah. Apricot or apricot? Oh, God. We'll get to that one. Dude, that's a con that's a contentious one. 
Aka. That's a contentious one. Mel went with uh, Apricot. Dig said Apricot as well. Um. Okay. Pecan. Number one, pecan. Or number two, pecan. 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 Or pecan, sorry. Pecan or pecan. Composer goes with both depending on the context. Um, I say caramel. Um, I don't say caramel. I say caramel. Dig. Uh, one, 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 two. Marcus, two, showing the region. Mel, sh I think probably showing the reason, uh, region. Uh, but a bunch of ones. Bunch of ones. A crystal one. Hey, ask. One, but I, uh, but I say two if I'm near my great grandma, says Crimson. Yes. Cricks. Cricks. Number one. Pecan. Or number two. Pecan. A pecan pie or a pecan pie? Pecan. Pecan. Is it TikTok on this? There's a TikTok probably on everything at this point. Uh, Mel's going two. Esk is going two. Crix is going one. Um, it, it, it's, it, it traditionally is a southern pronunciation. Pecan is um, pecan pie. You know, get, get, your, get, your behind, get your skinny behind in the house and have yourself a slice of pecan pie. It's a southern pronunciation. Outside of the south, you tend to hear uh, pecan. Bless your heart. Yes. Not Louisiana. Louisiana is a fucking weird place, though, Cassidy. Louisiana's got, like, that Arcadian influence. So it gets it gets weird down in those parts. Uh, Mel. Yep. Southern. Grew up in Arizona, but dad from Alabama. Yep. Is that the etymological origin of, pe uh, of the word pecan? Uh, pecan? No. Is it really a, a native word? Never even thought about it. It's not. It's not high on my list. Uh, well, their word isn't spelled that way either way, Zippy. And it just means nut. It's an Algonquin word meaning nut. And it's it's just fucking it doesn't even have the E. Like it's 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 literally not the same word at all. Oh, P A C C A N. It's a P A. Pack packin'. Fucking either way, the Cree have their own version of it as well, and it's P A K. Pac Man nuts. Rev's got it. Rev's got it. It's Pac Man nuts. Um, what beast? I see you. I see you typing on the Discord server. What's up? Put it in Discord for me. Beast, I want I want caught up on that, because I didn't notice that. Uh, what a slice of my pecan pie! Pecan, 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 pie. Um, one sec. Pecan pie. What if you could pick? Okay, but what if you could pick pies though, Sasaka? Pie picking season. It's like that fucking who? Who is here for the spaghetti picking video? The, the BBC we talked about. It was the April Fool's shit. It's that April Fool's shit that I you fucking, as we know, Kai does not like April Fool's. 
Um, yeah, it was at BBC April Fool's shit. Fucking convinced like 80% of the British television walk- watching public that there's a, a spaghetti picking season. Pasta trees. Yes. Fucking dude. Dude. Fuck. <laughs> Pie picking season. Hot take pasta is overrated. Yeah, Mel, let me get you a link. It's a whole thing. The BBC basically aired a fucking piece back in like the 70s or some shit about fucking pasta season, like the spaghetti harvest in due to an unseasonably dry s- season. The the spaghetti harvest in uh, in Italy is going to be short. And they did like, did they did like a little mini documentary on spaghetti harvesting off trees and pasta trees and shit. And like, it was the seventies. Nobody knew shit from shit at that point. They didn't have the internet and the BBC was telling them this. So like a whole chunk of the British television watching populace, like, believe that that's just where spaghetti came from and some of them called and like we had questions and shit it's a whole fucking thing yeah no pu- public no this is a real fucking thing um bbc spaghetti harvest um all right let's watch it again hold on give me a second it's not that long it's like two and a half minutes it's worth watching It isn't only in Britain that spring this year has taken everyone by surprise. Here, in the Ticino, on the borders of Switzerland and Italy, the slopes overlooking Lake Lugano have already burst into flower, at least a fortnight earlier than usual. But what, you may ask, has the early and welcome arrival of bees and blossom to do with food? Well, it's simply that the past winter, one of the mildest in living memory, has had its effect in other ways as well. Most important of all, it's resulted in an exceptionally heavy spaghetti crop. The last two weeks of March are an anxious time for the spaghetti farmer. There's always the chance of a late frost, which, while not entirely ruining the crop, generally impairs the flavor and makes it difficult for him to obtain top prices in world markets. But now these dangers are over and the spaghetti harvest goes forward. Spaghetti cultivation here in Switzerland is not, of course, carried out on anything like the tremendous scale of the Italian industry. Many of you, I'm sure, will have seen pictures of the vast spaghetti plantations in the Po Valley. For the Swiss, however, it tends to be more of a family affair. Another reason why this may be a bumper year lies in the virtual disappearance of the spaghetti weevil, the tiny creature whose depredations have caused much concern in the past. After picking, the spaghetti is laid out to dry in the warm alpine sun. Many people are often puzzled by the fact that spaghetti is produced at such uniform length. But this is the result of many years of patient endeavor by plant breeders who've succeeded in producing the perfect spaghetti. And now the harvest is marked by a traditional meal. Toasts to the new crop are drunk in these poccolinos. And then the waiters enter bearing the ceremonial dish. And it is, of course, spaghetti. Picked earlier in the day, dried in the sun, and so brought fresh from garden to table at the very peak of condition. For those who love this dish, there's nothing like real homegrown spaghetti. Yep. I was going to correct you, Dig. Yeah, this isn't... Dude, this is the British that thought this. Not us. Oh, fuck. Yeah, thank you, Beast. Thank you. That's hilarious. Did they leave? They did. Dude, Beast, they left. That dude fucking left because I was gay. That's hilarious. That action TV person fucking asked if I was gay. Beast confirmed I was gay. And he said, oh, no. Frowny face. Thanks for the reply. It breaks my heart seeing people having gay and less interest. Public, you're gay. 
<laughs> Hashtag canceled. <laughs> Damn, what a cuck. Yeah. Dude, that's funny as fuck. Found out I was gay, so he fucked off. Or she? It may have been a she. Hmm. <laughs> wow, but what about the children, Kai? We need them for the Republicans. <laughs> Some South Park level shit there, public. Fucking everybody joins in in unison and starts chanting. Um, uh, domine, fe. <laughs> uh, fucking. On April 18th, 1930, the BBC reported there's just no news and they played music instead. Yes, that one I know. That one I actually know, Marcus. Of my own volition, I know about the night they said just, there's no news. Time to fuck off. Um, honestly, it amazes me there's still people out there screaming around gay people. Well, I constantly think of that black dude, that fucking streamer, fucking who freaked the fuck out when he found out Dave Rubin was gay. I shake, I shook his hand. That dude's such a little, a little, just a pussy bitch. That dude's such a fucking fairy. Like, holy shit, man. Um, I was in his house. Yeah. Like that dude. Dude, okay, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. You don't often get reactions like that out of white dudes. That was a quintessentially black reaction to 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 being gay. Yeah. Yeah, that dude, that was that was some black subculture reaction to being gay. There's there's the white reaction to being gay and then there's the black reaction to being gay. And that's sort of over the top. That usually comes from the black subculture. Hip hop, etc., etc., and so so forth. Yeah. Um I'll say, oh my god, I just don't understand bigotry. Why would you say something so controversial yet brave? Well said yeah, Dr. Well saying, oh no, I touched a gay. Log cabin Republicans got some Stockholm shit going on. Yeah, they do. It, it's not even Stockholm. You know they don't like Republicans, right? The log cabin Republicans don't like Republicans. They like money more than being gay. That's that's all it is. That's all being log cabin Republican is about at the end of the day. They're about their finances. It's just a bunch of greedy uh, greedy queers. That's all. They're like, I don't want to pay taxes. Can we, like, not pay taxes? Well, this crew over here doesn't want to pay taxes. Cool. But they hate queers. Yeah, I don't care. I like money. But they really, like, they really, yeah, I've got a, I've got a private resort that I go to in the Bahamas. I've got a vacation, uh, a chateau in Switzerland. I, I don't care. I can just fuck off anytime these idiots start acting a fool. Can I not let the government have my money? Well, they're all about that. Cool. Then I'm on that team. But they hate you. They won't hate me. I'm rich. And they don't. They're some of the good ones how they talk about them. Uh, they're, they're some of the good ones. What? You mean gay people aren't automatically progressive on the economic axis? Shock, says Rev. We want the right to kill you, but write-offs. Uh, you drive a hard bargain, my friend. Deal. <laughs> yep, no. Yeah, they'll hate you behind your back. Exactly, public. That, and that's fine for them. That's fine for them, as long as they don't touch their checkbook. I'll tell you, yep, that's super accurate. Unless you're Dave Rubin and suddenly you adopt kids. <laughs> uh, that was that was funny. Um, oh, yeah, no, dude. Boom, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about that video. Like, dude, it's fucking... There's a video that went around with the, the collective, like, reactions from, like, conservative streamers and shit like that when Dave Rubin announced he was having the surrogate kids. And the one I was doing, the fuck, I touched him. I was in his house. He's some black con conservative streamer. Yeah. He's one of the reactions to Rubin. Absolute just garbage human being. I shook his hand. Guys, I took, I shook his hand. Straight up. Did you see Trump say uh, gay for Trump didn't look gay enough? It's hilarious. People are actually insulted. No, I didn't, Marcus, but I'm not surprised. Gay cooties. Rev, uh, that actually happened way before Dave got a surrogate mother. 
All I know is I saw it as part of the compilation of his reaction set, so I, I'm not aware of any timeline adjustments. His good friend Ben Shapiro has just, oh no, I wouldn't go to a dinner for your anniversary. I can't support your horrible lifestyle. Yeah, you know what? I can't support a loveless, sexless marriage either that's clearly a fraud, so I can't support your marriage either, Benny. Sorry. Learn to make your wife wet first. I bet I could make her wet. I bet the gay dude would have no problem getting Ben Shapiro's wife horny as fuck. She'd be fucking, to quote, to quote Archer, sploosh. Right? I could get the job done. Guarantee. The aggressively gay dude could get the job done way better than Ben Shapiro could. Yeah. <laughs> if she's wet, she probably has a VD. She's a doctor. She tells me that's normal. Um... I think Ron Paul once complained an aide let him use the bathroom at a gay donor's house. Libertarians, folks. Yeah, they're all fucking horrible. I read Swede. She'd be moist. Um, I did enjoy the sploosh gag. Yeah, the sploosh gag is funny. The sploosh gag is funny. Especially when the dudes started using it. When everybody get up, got in on the sploosh gag, then it was really, really funny. Libertarians are walking contradictions. Yeah, they're horrible people. A few of them are decent. But if they got to enact their ideology, well, then, yeah. They're horrible people. Um, and caps are even worse because they're, they're just right libertarianism even further. They're just the worst people. I mean, <laughs> I won't invoke his name. Oh, wait. Yes, I will. Scott over at Fabian Liberty. Um, he uh, admittedly ascribes to Hoppe, Hans Hermann Hoppe. He's a fucking Hoppian. He will admit this himself. He is a Hoppian. Hoppe believes that you shouldn't allow African immigration into Europe because it will lower the collective IQ of Europeans via inbreeding with a lower species such as the Africans. You can, you can find the speech. There's a YouTube video of Hans Hermann Hoppe giving that speech. Yeah. So, yeah, libertarians are just, and caps are just one step further. They're just fucking nut jobs. Something, something great replacement. Yeah. If a libertarian knows about Hoppe or von Mises or some others, they probably suck ass though. Oh, yeah. Never trust someone with a German, <laughs> German name, says Viva. Uh, UNLV deserves to have it as accreditation strip for that. Dude, he was fucking talking about, like, uh, gay people not being uh, um, uh, reliable actors within the economic system and how, like, blah, 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 econ uh, economists speak for gay people sh can't be trusted to make decisions. Right? Um, and fucking the, the university didn't even sanction him for it. Didn't even give him a letter in his fucking jacket. It, they just, they fucking apparently just verbally reprimanded him. Even though students walked out of his classes as a result of the crazy shit that was falling out of that dude's mouth. Yeah, Han Hoppe is a fucking ethno-fascist fucking Nazi. Like, straight up, dude. He did you, fucking, he checks the list. Like, he's, you, you go down his list of beliefs and you'll be like, uh, there's a lot of this shit that's lining up with actual Nazis. Yeah, what a coincidence. He's an ANCAP. And then, you know, you got fucking Scott running around on the fucking panel debate shows. Fucking literally, behind the scenes, he'll admit to you, he's a Hoppian. Dude, you ascribe yourself to an ethno-nationalist fascist. Like, straight up. Okay. Okay. <sighs> public gay people are bad for the economy I mean fucking god Hoppe is he's a mess uh, boom I think he's gone for good I think he's gone for good at least for the time being a lot of people say he'll be back I mean, I would never encourage that, Excel. That's brigading and shit like that. Yes, yeah, Aka. Uh, 
I would never encourage that, Axel. But I will, I will speak openly about it, right? He argues in bad faith. He's admitted behind the scenes to multiple people, not just to me, um, <clears throat> that um, he teaches people on his channel to argue in bad faith, that he, he intentionally does not come to any conversation, argument, or debate in good faith, and that he will straight up lie to your face to get the job done. Yeah. Um, he's a propagandist for uh, anar uh, so-called anarcho-capitalism, a.k.a. right-wing libertarianism. And he ascribes to a version of it that is referred to as Hoppian, or um, named after Hans Hermann Hoppe, a noted ethno-fascist. Ethno so, yeah. Aka, no one, because you fucking you fuckers beat up on Glazy too much. You fuckers beat up on him too much. You bought, you dogpiled him constantly. There was always three to five people fucking just dogpiling Glazy. You're not gonna get Glazy back unless fucking y'all stop dogpiling him. It's bad enough to have the streamer criticizing you, right? To have an entire room full of people. So that's that was his complaint. Just get another one. There's enough foot traffic. I, well, again, it's not my toy. <laughs> Ref. Uh, so. Oh, uh, let's see. What is there? Oh, um, is there anything I wanted to talk about outside of? Oh, yes, guys, you need this one. This one's a weapon. Um, this one's a good weapon. It's just a simple talking point. This is fucking brilliant. Credit to Hermit Thrush on Twitter for fucking dropping this one. Um, If your truck didn't come with nuts and you put truck nuts on that truck, you've just done gender reassignment surgery on your truck and you're a liberal. Take it and run with it. Take it and run with it. <laughs> Deviously devilish. Um, yeah, Her uh, fucking, um, credit to Hermit Thrush on Twitter. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid one. Trans truck. Yep. If you see a signed truck at birth. Yeah. If you see a truck with truck nuts on it, dude, that's a trans truck. It didn't come with those truck nuts. They put them on there. That's gender reassignment surgery. Dude, that is a, that is a trans truck. Dude, just walk right up to him and just start, like, I just wanted to thank you for being an ally. What are you talking about? Well, I saw the truck nuts on your truck. And you should fucking just, just, yeah, just fuck with him. Transmission. <laughs> Thought all ships are women. I mean, once upon a time they were. I think that tradition is forced gender is. Oh, my God, Zippy, you're right. Zippy, Zippy, Zippy. Zippy's right. That's forced gender reassignment. The truck didn't have any say or consent in that action. That's forced gender reassignment. Not only did I, oh my God. Mm. Yeah, fuck with them. It's a good talking point just to fuck with them. I'm done talking to them in good faith. Uh. Now that I think about it, instead of vasectomy, can I get them to just swap in truck nuts? I mean, Marcus, if you want to go on testosterone injections, yeah, you could swap your nuts for a silicone pair and go on injections. I mean, it's a bit of an overkill just for a vasectomy to go a full orchiectomy, but 
You could do it, theoretically. Uh, Latte, yeah, this is the best thing I've heard today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good talking point. It's a good fucking talking point. Um... You don't argue with a wheelbarrow. You push it. Um, so we need to mention, before we go too much further, we need to mention that uh, this, has, this has come in within the last day. So add another one to the list. Um, former Trump aide, RNC operative, pro-life activist, guy by the name of Ruben Verestigui. I don't fucking know what this guy's last name is. V-E-R-A-S-T-I-G-U-I. Ruben, that name. All right? He's a fucking former Trump aide. He's an RNC actor. He's a fucking pro-life activist. He has just been sentenced to 12 years in prison for child pornography. Um, he posted about, and this is, this is quote, quote, he posted about how the sexual abuse of babies is his absolute favorite. Absolute favorite is the quote on that. So, you know, the, the sexual abuse of babies is his absolute favorite. Another one for the pile. Exactly, Wilhelm. Another one for the pile. Dude, Republicans fuck kids. Conservatives, social and fiscal conservatives fuck kids. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, he's fucking... But what about Hillary? Buttery emails. Buttery mails. Buttery mails. Uh, the evil child eating sex ring Trump was supposed to expose he monopolized on yeah the list needs to be on info store oh god you're right Cassidy um, remind me as always you know what I'll write a note but remind me uh, I'll just put the list on info store I don't think Amaris is here either right Amaris, you here, motherfucker? Um, no, he's not. We need to get that bot up and running again. Dude, the, the, the host for the bot, for the info store bot, it, it, fucking, it's hosted over on um, Amaris's side. And the bot, the, the host is just, mm. uh, Caboose, what would that go under? Um... I am tempted to put it under LGBT. Because that's where you get hit from. That's, dude, that's the side that needs that talking point the most. Who needs, because the info store is about the talking point, right? It's about being able to defend yourself in a, in a, in a discussion, in an argument. It's going to go under political, because uh, um, I, dude... I I am serious. I, I I am seriously considering putting that under LGBT. Uh, would I support the death penalty for the likes of Peter Scalia? Yeah, I don't just I don't support the death penalty. Period. State enforced death penalties are a thing. I don't uh, I don't uh, uh, agree with. Um, he's um, I had to check. I had to check. He's he's the Australian pedo that went up to Thailand or whatever, right? Boom. Um, yeah. No, I don't support the death penalty. Period. State enforced death penalty makes us all complicit in murder. Yeah. Now, if a, a father or a mother of one of those kids got their hands on that motherfucker, I mean, we're going to have to try you. Like, we're going to, I'm going to, like, we're going to have to arrest you. We're going to have to try you. But I'm going to put you in front of a jury. Like, that's, I'm going to put you in front of a jury and we're going to tell the story. This is what happened. What do you feel this person deserves sentence them i have a sneaking suspicion that not a whole lot's going to be done but you know yeah yeah i would have to i'd have to convict you like, i'd have to attempt to convict you 
I, I would arrest you. I would try you. I would try. Uh, I would try that case before a, a jury of your peers, um, and let the chips fall where they may on that one. Yeah, but the state has no, no, absolutely no business having control over life and death like that. None whatsoever. It makes us all complicit to murder. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Sippy sentence with a medal. Um. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that one's getting saved. Uh, y'all want to see some creepy ass shit? Okay, I want you to pay real close attention to a few details of this fucking video. This is, dude, this disturbed me when I saw it. Um, one, there's more than one of them. Uh, two, the bell to summon them. The cue, the trigger is the, is the ringing of the bell. That's not weird at all. And then the other one, just staring dead eyed at you from the corner. Oh yeah. No beast. It's, it, they're real. At least there's no heavy breath. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make this more realistic for you. There you go. Just, just, just a little more realism for you in that one. No, the eyes aren't Photoshop. They're digit. They're fucking screens. Uh, we're not allowed to use that word anymore. <laughs> uh, how does he, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, dude, there's an episode, I think Darknet or something that talked about the sex doll industry in Japan, how insanely realistic they make them for actual companionship. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little, a little much. We watched a band marry his uh, video game wife. Fleshies are on the way out, says nonsense. <laughs> uh, as it is written, freak me the fuck out. Uh, Asia in general not looking so <laughs> looking too hot. Beast has looked into them, Jesus. Uh... Marcus, okay, it, but in all seriousness, it's fine. Just don't bring it on a double date or I'm leaving. Yeah. Lars and the real girl. Yes. What was the one that, um, was it Joaquin Phoenix did where he fell in love with an operating system? Forget that movie's name. Um, they rolled a good disguise check. Uh, her. Thank you. Her. Uh, where was that? Okay, it's a joke. I was going to give my gold star gay bestie a flashlight bong, but I'm scared of offending his boyfriend. Dig, if your gold star gay bestie uh, fucking, if their boyfriend is offended by you giving them a flashlight bong, then fuck that boyfriend. That boyfriend sucks. And you should do it anyway. You should do it anyway. Fuck that boyfriend. If a fucking, if, if a female best friend to a gay dude gives him a fucking fleshlight bong as a gift and the boyfriend gets offended by it, go fuck yourself. You're a douche. 
Oh, Mel, I'm in that camp too. Yeah, the Uncanny Valley shit. It's just fucking weird. Oh. Yeah, like fuck that boyfriend. <laughs> your 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 bestie gay friend can 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 do better then. That's that's all I'm saying. Is they can do better. <sighs> yeah, I don't know their relationship at all, so I'm in the dark. How is this your bestie? Dude, you should know all this shit. Nope. Hang on. It's his first, like, serious boyfriend. He's very personal about it. He comes around, nice guy, but I don't know him like that yet. Mm. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> shot over the bow, for sure. A shot over the bow, for sure. Uh. Uh. Yeah, he's going to know me at least. Exactly, Dick. Yeah, you get it. Um, we talked about that one last night. Uh, we're good on that one. We're good on that one. Okay, cool. Then there's not anything that I need or want to talk about. Um... Jesus Christ. All right. Give me a sec. God, I love some of this real estate stuff. Some of this real estate stuff is amazing. All right. <clears throat> so somebody went to look at a home today. This is the living room and kitchen. Here's the living room. I mean, look, look, look at how shit everything is, just how small it is, how not well lit it is, how the ceiling is garbage and curved, by the way, the ceiling is sinking, um, fucking absolute, this is just a tear out room. All right. This is a tear out room. Um, okay. Here's the kitchen. Just tons of room here. Just tons of room. This is, this is the kitchen. Yeah, and this may be cancer up here. That may be asbestos. You don't know. Um, okay, so just looking at the living room and the kitchen. This is a $950,000 house. The person who posted this said estimates $300,000 in remodels. Queens. I don't know which portion of Queens, Swede. Apparently, there's also a random toilet installed in the stairwell because the old lady that died there couldn't go up the stairs. The um the this is this is the the poster speaking. The boomer showing it to me was so confident that he was giving me a deal too. Kept saying how he could get over a million easy. It's a three bedroom, one bath, not a brownstone. It's a row home in Astoria. There you go, sweet. 
it's it's a three bed one bath row home but not a brownstone a brownstone in Astoria with a fucking toilet literally just a raw toilet installed partway on the stairwell with a kitchen that is three feet by three feet a living room that probably has asbestos in it for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's broken. Dude, the real estate, the, the economy is just fucking broken. Has, has his, has his taken to Twitter and is calling for a red brown alliance. Just so you know. Just FYI. Urban housing no different here in Seattle, which is a notoriously broken real estate market. Is Southern Highlands the bougiest neighborhood in Nevada? Uh, in uh, in Las Vegas, uh, the NIMBYs are trash. Yes, they are, sweet. Um, it it has potential to be um, McDonald Douglas Ranch is pretty bougie too. Um, Southern Highlands has the golf club. Um, McDonald Douglas has like Dragon Ridge next to it. So that's McDonald's Highlands as well. So that they've got the golf club as well. But if you go up in McDonald Douglas, you end up on the hill um, and you end up with some insane fucking properties up there. Um, let me see if I can find you a fucking picture of like some of the stuff that's up in McDonald Douglas. Um... Let's see. How would I even project this? I think. Okay. Can I get somebody here? No, I can't. They haven't even mapped those roads. Yeah, like up here in McDonald Douglas is some bougie fucking houses. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, which, I mean, here's, here's Southern Highlands over here. So here's Southern Highlands. So, I mean, it sort of depends on your style of McMansion that you're after. Uh, McDonald Douglas has like the the like um, modern chic shit going on. That's where like Penn Jillette lives, and then uh, Southern Highlands is where like uh, just rando rich people live. Oh, probably like this. Uh, that's actually the golf club. Oh, my God. Um, something like this, probably a few million. Somebody wants to look it up. Yeah. Oh, no. Exhale. The windows are all like reinforced, like uh, bulletproof glass and stuff around there. Yeah. They're all like Lexan and uh, polycarbonates and stuff like that. They don't break windows. That, that's, that's stuff of the old days where that doesn't happen anymore.
Yeah, see, up on up in like um, McDonnell Douglas up on the hill, you end up with this sort of stuff. Right? Like you end up with these super they're bougie as fuck, but they're super modern. Like you end with this modern chic sort of thing going on up there. So, I mean this cost you this cost millions as well. It just it's a whole different thing. Southern Highlands is more like traditional southwestern sort of aesthetic with McMansions. McDonald Douglas up on the hill is more like, you know, postmodern chic. Only green grass in the whole desert area is that goddamn golf course? Of course it is. Yeah. You can literally zoom in. Any, anywhere you see green, yeah. it's a golf course. It's a golf course. It's a golf course. You could just pull up this map. Anywhere you see green, it's a golf course. Yeah. You can just come over to the, the west side too. Golf course. You can, you can literally do that in Las Vegas. If you see green on the map, zoom in. It's a golf course. Oh, uh, we do. Yeah, we do. The caddies have their day one day. My current house is purchased for about 180,000 16 years ago. Now it's worth two times that. I mean, that two times is fucking, that's surprisingly low. Build fucking houses there. I mean, I'd just love to turn them into green spaces. I'd, I'd keep them, but I want. All right. B over just sent me a fucking listing for one of the. McDonald Douglas ranch houses. So, you know, this is 11.6 million. Take this bathroom though. Your bedroom's just too fucking big at that point. Take that bath. That's color enhanced. Here you go. Needs more gold color. I know, right? A boat. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is dry, dry dudes. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's garbage. It's garbage. It's fucking, it's, it's tasteless. This is how you, you know, fucking rich people don't have class. Nope. Dude, that's not the sort of shit wealthy people buy. That's the sort of shit nouveau riche buy. That's the sort of thing that somebody who made like a few, like, you know, tens of millions, hundreds of millions in like the tech sector or something buys. You would not catch somebody with like old New England money living in that thing. That's got Nouveau Riche written all over it. Plus, the construction is shitty quality. You know that, right? The sa it's the same garbage they build everywhere else in this valley. It's crap. It's crap. That place is it's absolute garbage quality build. That's the hilarity of it. 
Yeah. Yeah, all the McMansions are shittily mad based. Yeah. Um, the richest folk I know have a pretty humble but banger of a house. Yeah, no, dude, when you got real, real, real money, dude, those motherfuckers keep a low profile. They got some land. They got some, you know, they're take, they're squared away, but they're not like, I need a 45,000 square foot McMansion sort of shit. They're like, yeah, that, that's too much attention. It's too much, up, too much upkeep. I don't need any of that shit. I don't want to show off to people. Yeah, the really, really, like, properly old school money, they don't touch that shit with fucking, with anything. But, like, leave that for the likes of fucking Bezos and Buffett and Gates and shit. Those motherfuckers who are new to their money. The people who grew up with real depth of cash. Like, proper. Our money goes back generations sort of cash. This is stuff you build when you're brand new rich. Carnegie did it. Fucking Rockefeller did it. Fucking, you know. When you're new to your money, that's the sort of shit you, you buy and build. When you've had money for like 12 generations, they don't do stuff like that. Fucking gauche. Um, they're also living in the same house their families lived in for generations. Yeah, because why would you buy a new one? Why would you spend twenty five million on some shit you don't need? That's twenty five million you can buy like I don't know an island with or something. Yeah. Nah. I I, I my money's on Putin actually, man. Dude, he siphoned off a trillion. There's just trillions missing. There's trillions missing from the Russian Federation. He and his cronies have siphoned off insane amounts. Insane amounts. 25 million? Think of all the senators you could buy. I don't know. That's nothing, right? A congressman's like 10K. You can buy a, t a congressman for 10K. You can get a senator for like 100, 250K. You could buy so many fucking politicians with that money. Hmm. Cheshire, yeah, yeah, I, I get you, I get you. There's, you, there's trillions of over the U.S. welfare budget, yeah, but if you go into fucking MBS's pockets, dumb. Um, it's a nice bad movie night. Like that's, oh shit, there we go. Pop that. What? Why? There we go. Windows Windows is having a moment. There we go. Um, dude, dig, I get it. We don't have a theme. We don't have a theme. We did the Dungeons and Dragons Satanic Panic last week, which was good. Um, I have a fucking yawning all of a sudden. Uh, but, yeah. I, we don't have a theme. I may just pick something, or maybe we may we may just pick something. We may just I don't know. Um, put the names around. Spread the names around. Dig. Spread the names around. Um, but no, we don't have a theme as it stands. Um, Has doing a victory lap for the fucking Amazon labor union. I see that. Who posted that? Cupcake posted that. Dude, how is Has doing a victory lap for that? That guy's a fucking. He's he's not a fucking revolutionary. Has really is fucking retarded, isn't he? He's a fucking grifter. Fuck. Holy shit, man. 
You know what? I hereby challenge Haz to a fight. If he comes to Vegas, I will fight him. Um, but like, you know, I hereby challenge Haz to a fight. Let him let him come to Vegas. Um, he can he can attempt to track me down. Um, I just like the idea of fucking making him run around the fucking country point to point. Fucking like, and now he's got to get a flight to or drive out to or drive out to just fucking poke at him. I hereby challenge. I hereby declare has as my nemesis and that we shall the two of us shall enter a space and only one shall reign supreme. What the fucking weirdo shit he says, right? Fucking. Yeah, let him let him let him waste his time coming to Vegas. He's dumb enough while he's here. We'll probably take him for all his cash. He's fucking, dude, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. So, like, Vegas will fucking strip him of his money. God, that guy's so fucking dumb. That guy is so fucking dumb. It never ceases to amaze me how astoundingly dumb that man is. <laughs> Give me this Aka. Sweet, if you can't fall, spot the fish at the table, you're the fish. I know statistically short man syndrome isn't a real thing, but has it's the fragile ego of the world's smallest dictator. You know the thought... <laughs> Marcus uh, Cupcake said You know the thought of Haz running around a casino Greatly amuses me um, Stumbles to your door one day Clothes torn and covered in mud Asking to sleep on your couch instead of fight Dude Vegas would take him Vegas would take Haz He's He's the, he's the right kind of dumb And egotistical about uh, to think he can one up a casino, and he's also the kind of fucking lying maniac who would who would absolutely lie about fucking winning. Who like I fucking won five thousand dollars in blackjack at Caesars. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Like yeah, dude, dig. People don't understand what fucking what go, what goes on here. Dude, we fucking, dude, we put that fucking cop down. Dude, one of our homeless people, that was fucking, that was fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. Dude, we had, we had a fucking cop come here and fucking uh, be, uh, aggressively pet. He fucking started abusing some homeless dude's dog and another homeless dude just walk up and fucking tap, 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 tap. Dropped him. Yeah. That shit just, that's just Vegas, man. What you doing abusing a homeless dude's dog? Shit gets real around here real fast. And it doesn't make news that much. It doesn't make news that much. Vegas keeps that shit real quiet. Real quiet. We got, we got billion dollar PR firms here, basically. <laughs> right? Like, we spend a lot of money on public relations. A lot of money. Vegas works to keep its reputation. Yeah, that motherfucker, he just got got. <laughs> Don't fuck with the homeless in Vegas. Don't, seriously. We barely get shit on our own local news. Exactly, Dick. Like, dude, we just squash that shit as soon as it happens. Dude, has it come here and get fucking stabbed by some homeless dude? Because he starts fucking like aggressively ranting at him about Hegelian dialectics or some shit and how he needs to join the revolution to free himself from the bourgeois masses. And the next thing you know, well, that'd be that. Where it has go. He went to Vegas last we heard. Nobody's heard, seen or heard from him again. That dumb motherfucker tried to stir some shit up on the strip, I bet. He's stupid enough to try. Yeah, and no one would hear about it. 
No one. Dude, Vegas is sketchy as shit. I'd throw some money at him starting shit with casino security. Oh, Jesus, that'd be hilarious. Has, has starting shit with casino security. You know what? Fucking has. Has, if you got balls, right? If has has balls, right? If he actually has a pair of balls on him, come to Vegas. Dude, this is Ancapistan. This is the home of like some of the most Western, bourgeois, decadent, capitalistic operations. Dude, come to Vegas. Why are you avoiding us, man? Vegas is the like a number one location for this sort of like Western decadent capitalism. He won't set foot in this fucking town. Go, go fucking shut down the casinos, my man. Go start some shit with them. See what happens. Oh, I'm sure you can start that revolution, my man. I'm sure you can. My friend got fucked up by the RSN security. Imagine for the strip. Dude, the strip don't play. Dude, when they tried to start, start that BLM, sh BLM protest shit here, they started they tried to do it on the strip. You know that, right? Like, dude, that was hilarious. Dude, fucking Metro capped a dude in the dome in front of the courthouse when they, when they kicked off the BLM protest here. Dude, they tried to start some shit in front of the courthouse. The fucking cops straight up fucking domed a dude. Just pop. Dead. Done. Dude, they tried to start that shit on the, the strip the first day. The fucking first day they tried to start that shit on the strip. Fucking tank full, a tank full, a tank full, a tank full of SWAT team members. Dude, they rolled up on that shit real fast. Get the fuck off the strip. You think you're going anywhere near these goddamn casinos? Get the fuck out of here. Dude, they straight up got them right the fuck off the strip. Fucking fuck your massive bodies. Fuck your people. They will open fire on your punk asses here. Yeah, homie. Vegas don't play. Vegas don't play. I would love to see Haz start some shit here. Yeah, start the revolution here, Haz. You fucking cowardly little bitch. You fucking cowardly little bitch. You go everywhere but Vegas. You're like, oh, I went to, I went to, I went to fucking Los Angeles and I couldn't hack it because of fucking, uh. so you fled Los Angeles like the little punk bitch you were. You fucking flunked out of fucking law school because you're a fucking failure there. Now you're just trying to dr suck Tom Holland's dick for some fame, you grifter little, pi uh, little piss ant. Fucking come to Vegas and try and start some shit. I'd, I'd love to see that arc. Organize here has... Organize in Las Vegas. I'll fucking join you. I'll be by your side. I'm gonna duck out before they fucking fucking dome you because Metro's gonna fucking put you down, man. Metro's gonna put you the fuck down. But I'll, I'll be ducking out before then. But I'll straight up fucking help. Let's get this going, Haz. Let's start the revolution in Las Vegas. Dude, capitalism, one of the most Western, decadent, liberal, capitalist, bourgeois fucking locations that you can find. Start here. Come on, man. You got it in you. Dude literally, well, just moved, bitch. Yeah, no, he could hack it in Los Angeles. Dude, Vegas would chew him up and spit him out. Oh, yeah, Zippy, it's a fucking nightmare hellhole. It's a nightmare hellhole here. The other tanky Jackson Hinkle grew up in San Clemente, Orange County, right next to the ocean. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Just like that Bay Area attorney di uh, dipshit. I'm a, I'm a communist revolutionary. You're a corporate attorney, you class trader. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Fuck it, eh? You're an active corporate attorney. You're a class trader. Fucking, I, I swear, some of these motherfuckers. San Francisco corporate eviction lawyer. This is grimpy. Yeah, even better. 
Dude, they're all fucking grifters. Every one of the tankies is a grifter. Every single one of the tankies is a grifter. Every single one of them. Yeah. They're all full of shit. They're all full of shit. They're all the worst kind of people. Yeah, they're just... I mean, whether they're sucking, they're attempting to suck Tom Holland's dick for a little bit of fame. Please, Tommy. Please, Spider-Man. Can I get some of that fame? Can I get some name recognition? Or they're like fucking Bay Area attorney out here handling corporate evictions and shit. Fucking being a, I'm a, I'm a fucking communist revolutionary. You work for the corporations as attorney. Sit down and sh- as an attorney. Sit down and shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. You even got the likes of fucking, um, fucking my wife. Fucking, um, fucking American Johnson. Where the fuck non-competes dummy name is that he adopted and his Vietnamese wife. Fucking want to be ml oh i'm an anarchist you're a fucking ml and even then you're a venture capitalist before you started that you grifty piece of shit right jackson hinkles from fucking orange county are you shitting me homie go back to the golf course and sit down and shut the fuck up oh it's petty it's petty 990 it's petty. It may not be small scale. Uh, you know what? Grand scale. You know what? 990. When you're talking trillion dollar Ponzi schemes in an economic sense, and then you got these fuckers at the end or at other end. Yeah, it is. It is small scale. These these fuckers are grifter fucks. Dude, Hassan is a small scale grifter compared to the shit that actually gets done. Yeah. It's a spectrum. I'm okay with it. They're grifter fucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Latte. Did you not know this about his past? Yeah. Yeah. Non-compete was a fucking venture capitalist. Dude, every last one of these assholes is a grifter fuck. They're all grifters. Dude, Dylan Burns is a goddamn fed. Fucking <laughs> Prime K's lets people buy their way onto his panels and lets people pay $50 to kick him off the fucking panel. That's some grifty ass shit if there ever was. Right? Like, you just go down the list. You just go down the list. Every last one of these fuckers is just some grifter fuck. You're like, holy shit. Fuck Dylan, that fake fucking hippie bitch. Yeah, trying to co-opt your co-opted cu- uh, culture. Uh, honey vinegar, mm, fifty. Uh, not usually. I don't usually take music requests. Uh, fifty for a kick is pricey. Yeah. Exalt. Look, I have. Look, that's the fucking talking point at this point. Dylan Burns. Dylan Burns is a Fed. I mean, he's a fucking Fed. Whether whether he's working for the uh, the FBI or not is neither here nor there at this point. But yeah, no. He fucking dude. He's fucking. He was a fucking policy advisor for 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 like foreign policy or some shit. Like he's dude, he's he's a neolib fed. He's just on team. He's on team. Count him as on team. He's not on our team. He's on their team, right? He spent an entire fucking apparently uh, stream just trying to distance himself from the fact that everybody was like, "Yeah, dude, you're a fucking fed." Yeah. He's, yeah, B Scott it. Fucking, he's by default a Fed. He's a political figure with aspirations for holding office. He is by definition. He's a fucking Fed. Fuck that guy. He wants to be even deeper than he is now. He's on the outskirts right now. Now he's just a wannabe. He's like, you know what would be great? Is if I got a security clearance. You know what would be great? Is if I got some of that Senate health care. Fuck him. Also, by the way, he defended sexual uh, a serial sexual assaulter live on air. So if the Fed thing is too conspiratorial for you, Exol, on air, he defended a serial sexual a sexual abuser. Admitted. In self-admitted serial sexual abuser. Dylan defended that. 
So we watch we watch that shit go down live. So he can go fuck himself. While being given the evidence of uh, as uh, of such. Yes, that is true, Beast. Yep. Fucking screenshots and everything. From the person's own Facebook account. And Dylan. Dylan decided that the anti-work movement was the enemy and not the serial sexual abuser. Yeah. Dylan, Dylan, when confronted with a choice of should we dismantle some of the corporate and capitalist apparatus in this country to free the, the, the labor movement and actually gain ground, or should I support a serial sexual abuser? Chose serial sexual abuser. Exol, I was one of the first people in the world to have the first uh, from the uh, to have the firsthand evidence of that person's uh, Facebook postings themselves, and I provided it to Dylan. And I had to explain to his dumb ass how you verify integrity of screenshots and image data because he doesn't ha understand investigative journalism or information technology to save his stupid life. So I had to walk it through on air explaining how to and to analyze this to make sure that they haven't been photoshopped which i demonstrated live on air but he decided that he wanted to defend the sexual serial sexual abuser instead yeah we watched that shit go down live do we have like i don't know 85 105 fucking people in here that day just watching this shit yeah he's a Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck Dylan Burns. Fuck Hassan. Fuck Haz. Fuck Farm K's. Fuck all these grifter little fucks. They are out to profit. They are. They are. They are. Uh, they are commodifying and um, profiting off of your outrage and your anger and your political aspirations, just like every other fucking political fuck. So. Is what it is. Call it like it is. Yeah. Hassan, Hassan's champagne socialist ass. Fucking, I'm a socialist. Mm, are you? So, yeah, that is what it is. Are you happy about that, honey vinegar? You seem weirdly pleased by that. Of course Hassan isn't a socialist. He's a fucking capitalist grifter. Of course he is. Ah, pff, public. Public. Come on, man. You're you're too forgiving. You're too nice. You're too nice, public. You're too nice. I love you for it, but you're too fucking nice. Dude. Come on. Yeah. Yes, he is an idiot with an ego. That, that I hundred percent agree with that. I don't think he's even socialist in his mind. I don't think he's socialist in his mind either. Um, yeah, well, honey, I, I honey vinegar. I live in a state and I'm going to move to a state that doesn't give a shit about that stuff. My state, my state, honey vinegar, that I'm currently in has Medicaid covered uh, 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 gender affirming surgery and procedures. So, yeah, maybe we'll lose Roe v. Wade and we'll lose all that shit. Fucking your state is bullshit. My state is fucking based. We have, we have mail-in voting. We've had mail-in voting for ages here. We have Medicaid-covered cover, uh, gender-affirming surgery and treatments and medications, 
right? We have all of that. We have abortions here. We have all that stuff. So move to some place that doesn't suck ass. That or get your shit together. You need to organize harder. Sorry, but this is the truth. Either you organize harder and you get some shit done or you get the fuck out of Dodge. And if you think it's a lost cause, like it feels like you think it's a lost cause, then get the fuck out of Dodge. Take a fucking Greyhound bus if you have to. This isn't the fucking 1700s. You don't have to take a wagon carriage across the fucking country. Yeah, it sucks and it's difficult to do and you have to uproot your entire life. But dude, if you want to bitch about it, don't be surprised when somebody hits you with, then do something. I don't live in South Dakota. You live in South Dakota. Do something. I can't help you, man. You gotta get, you're going to have to help yourself. Yeah, maybe Roe v. Wade's fucked. Maybe this country's fucked. Maybe we're balkanizing. Maybe we are headed that direction. But I live in a state that isn't headed that direction, and I have intention to move to another state that isn't headed in that direction. So get your ass someplace that isn't headed in that direction and stop bitching about it. Do something. Yeah, Rev, this is just, you know, you're fucked fucked, Rev. Come to Nevada. Go to Vermont. No, boom, it'll be Vermont. The place that will let you have guns and weed. Vermont's way more based than the Pacific Northwest. Way more based. Anarchists, weed, and guns? Yeah. Constitutional carry state as well. If you can buy, if you can legally own a gun, you just fucking whatever. Yeah, the winters are getting more mild. Climate change is going to mellow that out. And Bernie, yeah. <clears throat> He's not from there originally, but we adopted him. Public, we have the gay city. That's really about it, though. For California. Like, homie. Yeah, Vermont. Duh. Dude, it's based ass state. Based ass state. Vermont's the best state in the union. Vermont's the best state in the union. Yeah, guns are fucking important. God damn. Yeah, guns are fucking important. Guns matter. In America, guns matter. Dude, if you live in Australia, not even Australia, if, dude, if you live in Austria or some shit, or Switzerland, you know what? Guns don't matter. Guns aren't a big deal over there. Here? Yeah. They fucking matter. All of them. All of them. No, Bernie's not from Vermont. What do you mean, kiss it goodbye? A uh, homie. Stepdad's a federal firearms dealer with connections to the uh, literal uh, head of the, uh, the former head of the ATF. I have access to law enforcement and military edition gear, dude. Kiss what goodbye? That's for you peasants. Any, any, any manipulations there? That's for you guys, not me. Sorry. I already got the good old boy system working on that one for me. I'm covered. Yeah. I come from a family that's got stockpiles of that shit. I don't have to worry about it for a second. Ammo and the firearms. Yeah, I think he's New York, Grimpy. I think he's New York. <laughs> See, so maybe you should like get off your ass and do something, honey. Brooklyn. Sounds about right, based on the accent. You do realize that the ultra left doesn't want to get rid of guns. Holy shit, your Overton window is jacked. Vinegar. Vinegar, your Overton window is fucking jacked. 
You do realize that the ultra left is pro gun, right? You're talking about Democrats. That's how dumb your Overton window shift is. You're talking about Democrats and calling them the ultra left. You do realize the ultra left is in favor of gun ownership, right? Marx and fucking anarchists both are in favor of gun and ammunition, ammunition freedom. How dumb is your Overton window set? The ultra left wants to get rid of guns or price people out of them. Marx himself was against gun surrendership or ammunition surrender, uh, surrendering. Anarchists have always fought for it. We historically used them a few times too. Right? The ultra left. You fucking dummy. Jesus Christ. Everyone is against me. They must be feds. Should be frustrated at all costs. Yes. Yes, Swede. Any attempt to surrender uh, uh, firearms or ammunition sh um, uh, should be frustrated at all costs. It's Karl Marx. Even the fucking... Con like, dude. Libs don't like guns. Lefties argue why cops get them and why I uh, get them and they don't. Yeah. Public fucking... Dude, the position on this channel is straight up guns for everybody but cops. That is 100%. That's not a fucking meme. I've been saying that shit for a while. Guns for everybody but cops. What's my decision I'll be faced with, honey? Honey vinegar, what's the decision I'll be faced with? Come on. Come on, you can do it. What's the decision? Vagaries. Vagaries. Come a day you will be faced to choose, my friend. You're not my friend. So what's the decision? Corporate centrists want gun control because it makes you uh, surrender to the system, says Swede. Yep, 100%. Hmm. What's the decision? Come on, you can do it, Pookie. You can do it. Come on. You've got it in you. I believe in you. What's the, what's the choice I will be faced with? What is this ominous, looming threat? About what I expected. It's about what I expected. Uh, Rev, my mom accused me of having something to say about anything the other day. I told her, yeah, that's the benefit of structural analysis. At the time, she was denouncing a poor person who stole from Dollar General. Yeah, I would have fucking been all over your mom on that one too, Rev. Fucking how dare that poor person steal from Dollar General. Fuck that corporation. Good on the poor person. I hope they, stole, I hope they steal more. I hope they teach other people how to steal more. <clears throat> Talk about just cowards. Remember, if you see someone stealing food or baby stuff, no, you fucking don't. <laughs> exactly, public. Like, shut your fucking mouth. As long as it's not from, like, a mom and pop store, as long as it's not from, like, some small business, if it's from some corporate retail chain bullshit, shut your fucking mouth. Is somebody arguing with Swede about economics? Oh, that's that's adorable. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're adorable, honey vinegar. See, here's the thing. I belong to a family that has law enforcement and military exemption for firearm ownership. That matters to you, not me. You, my friend, will be faced with a decision. Not me. 
you will be faced with that decision if it happens, not me. I'm legally exempt from that. Isn't that, isn't that a marvel of this system? How the good old boy system works and how federal regulatory processes work? It's you that's faced with that decision if it comes to pass, not me. So maybe you should get your ass in gear and do something. That day's not coming, by the way. That's a complete uh, hyperbolic uh, uh, fucking conspiracy theory at, at most. But even if it were to come to pass, it doesn't affect me. That's the hilarity of it. Even the stuff that you're never allowed to buy, the literal law enforcement military additions. You know who else is exempt from rules like that? Farmer, says Cassie. Also, everybody who's, as somebody pointed out, yeah, Peaky said it, as everybody's uh, fucking firearms fell off the boat in the lake. Oh, sorry, I dropped it in the lake, officer. Prove otherwise. Right? That's a dumb hypothesis. It's a dumb theorem. It's just absolutely dumb. But even if it's not, even if it comes to pass, it doesn't affect me. You literally know nothing about firearms ownership. You literally know nothing about firearms ownership. This is hilarious that you think that that's coming. You, you drank the flavor aid. You're in a cult. Lost that gun hunting years back, says Aspen. Exactly. There's so many ways around it. Also, there's no single tally of firearms ownership lists in this country. Just so you know, there's no master list. Did you know that, honey vinegar? Did you know that? That there's no master ownership list of firearms in this country? That due to private sales and private transfers, we have no master list. There's no way to, in, to actually verify who and who doesn't own firearms at any given time in this country. So your entire hypothesis is bullshit. Nobody's tracking those serializations. And also there's pre-serialization firearms well in distri distribution in this country. Like literally nobody's got a correlative database for that. You're just full of shit, man. You're just spreading fear. You're just going around spreading fear. That's all you're doing. Nobody's coming for your fucking guns in that way. Nobody. Even gun guys, when you get them talking, understand how borked federal tracking of firearms is in this country. There's no methodology for it. There's no way to do it. You're just full of shit. You're just running around screaming, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. They're going to they're gonna come door to door with SWAT teams and make you surrender your guns. And if you don't, they'll fucking kill you on the spot. You're a fucking idiot and you know it. You're a fucking idiot. You're dumb. You don't know anything about firearms ownership. Well, what about smart guns? What about the other 400 million guns already in distribution, moron? What about gunsmiths? What about people who have the ability to literally make guns from scratch in this country? What about any of that? Your, your handful of smart guns that may, may get manufactured one day is going to somehow displace the hundreds of millions of firearms that already exist in this country that are functionally untrackable. Your entire conspiracy theory is bullshit. You're full of shit. You came in and tried to fucking talk about gun confiscation with somebody who grew up in a gun household, has a stepfather who is a federally li licensed firearms dealer. I have taught firearms classes myself. I have trained with military uh, military guys. I have been at front, front sight with Ignatius. I've fucking done this shit. I have lived that life. You came in the wrong fucking channel to try and spread some gun confiscation bullshit conspiracy theory, homie. 
I don't give a shit what household you grew up in. You don't have anywhere near the qualifications when concerned with firearms that I do. Also, stepdad was a judge. So I've seen the legal system from the inside as well. From convicted felon to college graduate in his bio. Hmm. Homie, you're outclassed. You're outflanked. You're just way outmatched for this one. You just are. Just sit down, shut the fuck up, and take your L. Because if you want to spread that gun confiscation bullshit theory about how the Democrats are coming to the far left, the far left. He thinks the communists and the fucking anarchists, by the way, are coming for your guns. The fucking far left in the form of Nancy Pelosi, probably, are coming for your guns. And they're going to go door to door. You'll be forced to surrender them at a police station. Not understanding a fucking lick about American gun culture. The fact that, frankly... The entirety of the Midwest, the entirety of the South, the entirety of the Northeast Corridor, and a good chunk of the uh, of the Southwest and Pacific Northwest are all hardened gun owners, and they are not letting go go of those firearms. You'll be forced to surrender those guns at a fucking uh, at a police station. Do that police station will be fucking sieged. In this country, in this country, dude, they'll fucking they'll they'll just straight up fucking siege that fucking. Uh, that that that, uh, that police station. Yeah, it's happened before, by the way. Not for gun confiscation, but for electoral fraud. Yeah. Um, there's cases in the South where electoral fraud happened on a, a larger scale and returning veterans from the war just fucking went down and handled shit. It's happened before. Yeah, the cops just won't do it. No, the cops, the cops will not do it. No, you're not on my political spectrum at all. If you think the far left is coming uh, coming for firearms, you're not on my political spectrum at all. You have a completely miscalibrated over Overton window. Don't don't try and I'm I'm with you. No, you're not. You're not anywhere with me. With a statement like the far le- the far left is coming for your guns and they'll you'll be forced to uh, surrender them at the police station, you're a fucking idiot and you have no idea what you're talking about. That's it. I'm not going to mince words here. It's just the way it is, man. The anarchists are not coming for your guns. Right? You don't understand what the far left is. Like, you're, you're not on my political spectrum. You're, you're just, you're somewhere else. I get this feeling this honey person is a minor with many years till they're an adult, says Critical. Um, there's no spectrum at that point. It just makes no sense. It's fuzzy. Yeah. I, 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 dude. That, all you're doing is repeating a, a, a talking point that allows more, uh, more conservatives to get elected. That's it. You're just electing Republicans by saying that shit. I mean, take the test. It's it should be eight V. Yeah, it's eight V. Um. Yeah, all you're doing is electing Republicans by spreading that bullshit. Hmm, don't know. Um. Well, it's on cooldown one way or the other now. Wait, wrong thing entirely. Mm, be that one. And yeah, everyone has permission to use that. But it goes on cooldown. Then stop spreading fucking uh, Republican propaganda. What are you doing spreading Republican propaganda then? Because you clearly don't understand the firearms topic. You're just literally spreading a talking point for the NRA. 
that's that's not helpful to anybody except Republicans. Are you looking to help can can are you looking to help Republicans? Because if you're looking to help Republicans, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. If if you want more um you know if you want more um loosening of child marriage laws and furthering the military industrial complex Car- carpe I fucking no nah, but have a good one see you later mm-hmm. don't come back spreading republican talking points that's all i have to tell you um whether i want the best possible for literally every single one of you people might as well be arguing there's a war on christmas yep Yep. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? Um, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, Scribbles, are you not aware that the Republicans are attempting to loosen child marriage laws in various states around this country? As in, eliminate them entirely? In the case of Tennessee, the guy who um, who has put forth the legislation in Tennessee, the Republican, of course, he's got a child bride. He groomed a girl and married her. Straight up. And he's attempting to remove the child marriage law that restricts the age that has an age limitation on it in Tennessee at present. Yeah. Dude, Republicans bang little kids. We went through the list. Dude, I've got a list. Um, yeah, he met his wife when she was dude fucking Yeah. Um Republicans sleep with little girls. Or well, I'm sorry, kids, because they have a penchant for boys too. I listed what, three, four, five dozen? Probably like closer closer to three or four dozen Republican actors. Uh, not like Hollywood, but people who work within the political space. I listed like three dozen just off of a fucking list I have that literally like raped little kids, eight year olds and fucking f- fucked a 12 year old boy in his ass and fucking shit like that. Groomed one dude slept with his daughter for like a decade, starting when she was eight. All all like senators, congressmen, judges, governors, mayors, um, fucking uh, of anti uh, fucking pro Christian anti abortion Republican activists, the whole fucking list, dude. Republicans bang little kids. It's their thing. They yell about the Democrats doing it because they project. Dude, they're the party of projection. It's that simple. Yeah, and somehow it's the gays that are the real problem. Yeah. Critical, is that even new? Yeah, is that news? Yeah, uh, fa- yeah, fucking song. Face a pedo. Matt Gates. He's not a pedophile, but he's, you know, underage. Yeah. Matt Gates likes, likes him fucking young. Not even legal yet. No, it's not, boom. It's not. It really isn't. Mm-mm. I know, I know you probably wish it were, but it's not. Historical, con- contemporary, it doesn't matter. That shit is elsewhere too. It's in other communities. It's then your understanding of it, at least from a historical con- context, is incorrect. Yeah, it's not a white people problem. It's a human problem. The ones who got the problem in America right now are fucking, dude, they're white Christian conservatives. That's, that's who has the problem right now in America. But all sorts of subgroups and groups get up to it. 
Oh, yeah, we got plenty of states that have loopholes for child marriages. Plenty. Dude. They're always fucking weird. They're always weird. Oh, let's see. Got that, got that. Bitch ass crisis. Christian ISIS. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, yeah. I wanted to check. Is that motherfucker still here? Oh, no. He got timed out, didn't he? Yeah, he left when you timed him out, though. That gonzo mister person? Yeah, he left. I was wondering about him. Oh, interesting. That would have been a fascinating conversation. He believes in uh, trying women who get abortions for murder. Okay. What's up, Joe? Fucking twat stick. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that fucking gonzo mess, Mr. Person. Just, just fucking don't make me do anything, Joe. You're fine. Um... China's China's um, <clears throat> the people's war on drugs. China's uh, talking about how the U.S. push to legalize marijuana is uh, danger, irresponsible, and dangerous. So Ch China China would like to maintain the people's war on drugs. Apparently, Jesus Christ! God damn it, Florida! Fucking Florida. Um, a 16-year-old boy was killed when he and another teen took turns shooting at each other while wearing a form of body or armor, according to the Bellevue Police Department. The department said um, individual and individual, both 17, were arrested Thursday in connection with the fatal shooting of other individual. I'm not going to name check kids. Um... They recorded the shooting on the cell phone. They've got it. It was a nine mil and a vest. God damn it. Crap body armor with her, or uh, it may have been decent body armor, but they shot the same spot a few times. You can't, you can't reuse body armor. That's dude, that's some Hollywood shit, dude. You, you fucking, you fucking shoot a vest, dude. That vest is toast. That vest is toast. You, you, you do not reuse body armor. Make a playlist, call it Rise of the Floridian. The Empire's a zippy. Dude, that's a lot of work. There's a lot of fucking... Dude, I'm, I'm not looking to do too many fucking segments and clipping and YouTube work. Dude, that's fucking... Dude, video editing's a pain in the ass. I hear you, zippy, but... Nah. Nah. That's just extra fucking... Dude. Then, zippy, you you volunteering to be my video editor now? Right? Like, this, this show now goes on for like 35 to 55 minutes after the show ends. 
because I got to do fucking segment clips and fucking YouTube intros and outros and fucking, yeah. Yeah, everybody wants more segments until somebody has to actually do some shit. Like, dude, it's it's a pain in the ass. It adds a lot of bullshit to the workflow. So I hear you, but no. <laughs> no. That would be that would be just such a pain in the ass to do. Um These things are too long to edit and do them, says public. Yeah, dude, video editing's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. I've already agreed to take on maybe another segment. And with all the shit that I'm already trimming out from these fucking I got it. No. Sorry. <laughs> fucking it's one it's one thing to do a stream of consciousness for a like a university lecture hall full of people and keep it entertaining and keep it fucking salient and keep it, you know, focused to some degree or another for three to seven hours, five days a week, two of which I'm stoned out of my mind for usually. Right. And then afterwards, immediately dump into an hour to like potentially more of post show workflow, then more the next day during the YouTube upload and getting all the descriptions and fucking thumbnails and shit. Right. Like, yeah, it's, it's easy to say, add another fucking playlist. It's over the course of, over the course of a year, adding just a simple playlist that the smaller the segment, the harder the work. Right? Like, even if it's a five, three minute segment every other show, every fourth show, that over the course of a year, that adds up to dozens of hours of work. So, yeah. Uh, happy nightmare. So, then if you get shot in the same uh, sp uh, spot twice while wearing body armor, it might not protect you. No, it 100% will potentially punch through. Um, that's, that's, yeah, you've already stressed those fibers. It, it's, it's essentially a net that catches the bullet and then uses the degradation and the un, sort of like the tensioning and unweaving of the Kevlar fibers, um, to catch that bullet. And if you put around in the same general vicinity, the, um, resistance to that bullet is decreasing every time. Yeah. Dude, body armor is not some infinite shield. It's, it's vests and that sort of thing, especially Kevlar, uh, especially Kevlar. There's, there's a limited use cycle on that. So. You're dead, Nightmare. You're dead. This Holly, Holly. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't count on Hollywood for your firearms advice. That should probably be a, I, I, I would hope that like people realized that already since there's like infinite ammo cheats in some of these fucking movies and stuff. Oh, plates are even worse. Dude, Aspen plates are usually one and done. Depending on the round that hits the plate, dude, plates are usually one and done. Yeah, fucking John Wick up in this bitch. Thanks for the follow, Jim. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's it's plates are a, a one and done set. You mean movies lie? Sorry to break it to you, Puka, but yes, they do. Um, Rev, I'm especially tempted to buy some knife-proof clothing because I dread being stabbed daily. What is this? Serpentine! Um, yeah, no, Cupcake, that's exactly the idea. Break it, the plate breaking is exactly the idea. That's that's 100% what that plate is designed to do. It's designed to shatter. It That's how it absorbs, that's how it's dispersing the kinetic energy. That's It's literally the physics behind it.
Joe, don't make me like do something on your first time back. I don't know what the fuck, how drunk are you or whatever you are, but don't make me do something your first fucking day back, man. Pro tip, Puka, Puka with the pro tip. Don't get shot in the first place. General go to. Um, never really thought about it too much as nightmares. Makes sense though. Bike helmets are, 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 work similarly. Yeah. That, dude, these, these protective devices are not reusable. <laughs> That's dude. They 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 straight up. Um, those kids fucking. Apparently, they put four rounds at like one point in some dude's. They used the vest a few times. They used the vest a few times, and apparently, like the final like bevy uh, of rounds was probably like a a, a four uh, a four round dump into the kid's chest. Probably in the same similar area they were shooting already because it makes an easy target. They punched right through that fucking vest. Yeah. Kid got a fucking chest wound and died. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, sort of. Yeah, depending on how you want to read it. Nine ninety. Um, but those doomsday preppers are pre prepared to replace Kevlar in an apocalypse. Yeah, uh, weaving Kev, creating Kevlar is a bit of a bitch. Uh, literally a field tip for an arrow will punch right through. Oh yeah, most things will, dude. Most things will punch through a Kevlar vest that aren't bullets. Anything in the, the subsonic range for uh, is dangerous with a Kevlar vest, dude. Knives just slip right through. Yeah, and the arrow would just right through that vest, no problem, unless it hits a plate. But yeah, as far as the Kevlar goes, nothing. So. It's going to be some expensive therapy. I mean, fuck therapy. They're tossing them in jail. Marcus, they're 17. Florida's going to treat them like adults. Neg negligent homicide of a child. That was the charge I think I saw. So. All right, Zip. Catch you later. <clears throat> like parental neglect and improper uh, gun storage or am I missing something I fuck if I know there's 17 year olds in Florida come on I mean there's 17 year old males in Florida <sighs> there's only so much you can do with a 17 year old dude right that that started a while ago. And again, Florida. They probably bought the gun and vest from the same bodega. This beast. Um I, I yeah. We'll see. Either way, we'll see. I, you know, it sucks. Oh. Would I take ten rubber bullets for a billion? Yeah, no problem. As long as we get to control them, torso, um, torso, no face, no neck, no groin. Yeah, that'd be fine. Especially if we fire them the way that they're designed to be fired. If we fire them the way they're designed to be fired, yeah, no big deal. I'll do that. Yeah. So. Fuck it. Um, I'm kicking it off. Uh, dig, 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 says Rev. Um, let me kick it off. I want to get this night moving. I got, I got a fucking dude. It's already 930. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, we need to get food going and then bad movie night going and that sort of thing. So I 
Um, yeah. So, fucking another week. Another week. I, you know, what to say. This is a weird fucking stream, dude. I had to go off, like, I had to go off on a bunch of people for stupid shit. People, like, were out of fucking pocket today. Dude, I don't know what the deal with people was, uh, people were today, what the, what the deal with people was today, but, holy shit, man. We got fucking, fucking RZ49 or whoever defending kitty diddlers and shit like that, or what about it, what abouting and fucking enlightened centrising fucking kitty diddlers. We got fucking people who think they know shit about guns making weird ominous statements. Either way, fucking weekend. Catch y'all later.